all but the, the map on the OneDrive. Because, Probably, because that was a pain in the ass, let me tell you. Oh, I agree. Uh, when I tried to uh, move the stuff over that he put in earlier, it was only like 20 files they put over there, but when I opened up the game, there's a hundred and some files. I don't know where the other ones were, and because he was trying to lock it so that he can't get it off the server, but then again, I'm an admin over there, so I was... I figured because I'm an admin, I put in the password, I was able to get the mods right from there. Uh, so that worked out for me, and I was able to get the ones I was missing. And then it seemed like everything was coming out of Baxley, and that's why the Baxley <laughs> map was in there. I forgot to unclick that one, and uh, I don't know which ones are in there and which ones he doesn't want in there. So if he starts fresh, because this was all done basically spur of the moment type of thing. Yeah, that's always trout. He's like, oh, you know, I'm going to start streaming in 10 minutes. Let's change maps and all the mods and everything. <laughs> well, yes and no. Well, Gru just got the map uploaded shortly before that. And I thought Bye. Trout was going to set it up for tomorrow night, but then he just said, no, we'll do it tonight. You know, I think I'm wide. Been all much right. better, but oh well. Because I was going crazy on back, so I was doing real well. I had four tippers pulling the wood chips. I emptied out the wood chips from. We got green silo bins, and they work out real good for wood chips because we got the the Burks UN uh, Plus that cuts and chips a tree. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, it's, it's not a problem. It's just, it's trout. He gets something in his mind. He changes before anything else. Like I said, I thought he first started, like he said, said we're going to do it tomorrow because it'll take a couple hours. And then I asked him, and he goes, ah, maybe 10 minutes, 15. So, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> He's just like, well, you know, we could wait till tomorrow, but let's just do it now. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, not a big deal. It's just trout, so it's not Gru's fault. I mean, it's only partially Drapes' fault. Well, maybe if we come in and all of our vehicles are upside down or parked and backwards, then yeah. <laughs> then that'll definitely be Drapes' fault. <laughs> Hello, Coop. Norse Gaming. I'm not sure if the bot's in here. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Because it's not listing itself. <laughs> yeah, I was going to stream, um... I was going to stream some woodworking tonight. Do a little stuff, but... It's like... I don't know what's wrong with that webcam. I couldn't figure it out. And you did try to reinstall the webcam software? Yeah, I tried reinstalling the software. I tried it on... I actually took it upstairs, tried it on my mom's computer. And, you know, thinking that maybe the... USB port I was using was going bad or something, but I think it's the webcam. All right. I'll probably take it apart tomorrow and see if, like, the motor's froze up in it or something. And then I'll probably never be able to get it back together, but, yeah, whatever. If it's not going to work anyway, it doesn't matter. That's right. You get to see how they're made. That's usually what I did. I took VCRs, TVs, everything apart when they had the slightest problem. And most sometimes they didn't even have to have a problem. I'd still take them apart. Just yeah. to see what they look like. And if, you know, because I felt they were broken enough that they're not going to work. No big, no big deal. Yeah, that's the way I've always looked at it. Like, I've always took all kinds of stuff apart. Just like, you know, see it. 
But, you know, sometimes you'll take something apart and you'll see a, a section that the solder's broke loose or something and you just need to re-solder that wire back or whatever and you can fix oh, stuff yeah. sometimes. Oh, yeah, I've done that before. I give me five minutes before I have this tractor stuck in the pond. Okay, I think I have the reset on. You want me to put on uh, separate accounts? Yeah, I'm going to put separate accounts on so that if I decide to leave later on and you or anybody else comes in, they have their own account. Normally, that's how Sounds we play. Like we rarely have it uh, counts up, turned off. Yeah, it's it's nice early on like this to have them turned off and just focus everything towards getting a little bit of more equipment, you know, but... It's been so long since I played this though that I'm like, <laughs> I'm kind of feeling terrible. Actually, he does have the brooks in here. Fire that baby up and put a trailer behind your tractor, and we'd have money in no time. Oh, yeah, no doubt. How much is that thing, though? Oh, 55,000. Oh, that's not, that's not even too bad. Would this thing even run it, then? I don't remember that having... I didn't see a horsepower on it, but I didn't look. I don't remember that really having an issue with running it. It's a mod. It's not uh, Giants where they try and put limitations on it. Yeah, that's true. Well, it really doesn't say anything about horsepower. Skynet has arrived. I mean, this is pretty good money anyway. I've pushed three of the four logs that I cut down in and made 5K already. All right. Well, maybe before you know it, we'll add the poor brooks and a, tri a tipper to pull behind you. Or I could finish this field and uh, you could use the tipper and get a little bit further, but, uh, yeah, everything's working out. We'll get there. Hello, KW. I have to say, like, I'm, I'm the proudest of KW's welcome messages. <laughs> Why, what do you have? Do you have something that you have set up for trout? Yeah, KW says, uh, welcome Genesis, Skynet, initialization complete, humans detected, moderation mode enabled, sword not found, does not compute. I'm like one of three streams that I've ever seen KW in that he's not a mod on. Yeah, I think the only other stream possibly... I'm not sure if he's a mod on Gunnins or not. But I wouldn't want to be on Gunnins. God, that would be too much work. Yeah, I'd be too annoyed with all those icons he allows everybody to throw up. Yeah. Spam and everything. And then the music he's listening to now. I've never really watched Gunnin too much. Like, I've, I've watched him here and there, but, like... I think part of what puts me off of him is this chat. It just goes insane. I I don't like big channels. Like, 
I I never really watch any kind of big channels with tons of followers and viewers all the time, you know. Yeah, I could understand that. Because it's the chat you can't even really follow, and it's just annoying when they are in chat. They got their bromance going all the time. I forgot which ones were always hitting on each other and messing it up the chat so you can't uh, really find out when somebody's asking a regular question. Pepper Lurk. Is that that, uh, what is that guy's name? Sergeant Pepper or whatever, Draves? Okay, you, you have to tell me what you think, but does that guy not have the fakest laugh that you've ever seen? Okay, I've discussed this before with you. Yeah, I used to watch him when he played. Uh, before he was ever partnered, he used to play Seven Days to Die, and I used to watch him play that. And the only time I would ever laugh was when he would do that fake laugh shit. It made it made me chuckle. Oh God, it's Roddy. I haven't seen Roddy in forever. Hello, Roddy. How are you, sir? I'm doing all right, Roddy. Yeah. I haven't played this game in quite a while, and uh, GU Draves and Chat there redid the Pleasant Valley map, which I loved. And this is his version of that map, basically. And Trout put it on his server, so I wanted to try it out. I think it looks cool. I really... Uh, I'll show the map here in a second. I really think it looks pretty cool. Pretty kick-ass. I like how he's done it. Yeah, I, uh, I really like the map, Draves. I think it looks really good. We're going to have to buy something to get rid of these stumps, Kato, yeah. Does that... That, uh, Brooks, did you say it does the stumps, too? It can. Basically, if they're on level ground, it works real easy. And if it's not, sometimes you got to sit there a little longer or play with it. But, uh, we're not going to worry about the stumps a whole lot at this moment. By the end of the uh, next week, we'll have it all under control. Yeah, I don't plan on cutting down like a whole forest or anything, but I just don't want to get a bunch of stumps. You know, it irritates me just to see the stumps. So, oh, I agree, and because Gru does have a ton of trees on here, we're gonna want to kind of keep them under management. But, uh, anyways, basically, I need somebody to take this tipper. It's not full, but take whatever we got in it to the seeds, so we could get some seeds. Because otherwise, we couldn't put plant anything in this field all right, right let me because we don't have automatic seeds and seeds are straight down the road up let north. me uh you gonna get it draves or i can come up there and get it great draves says you got it but the rest then we'll put the rest of this into gas or fuel yeah kw i want to get lg in here that quarry when uh, when Trout drove it through it early looked pretty interesting. OK, 
Coop said he took some to the seed plant already. Uh, All right. Um, I think he took a load there before he got off. This I think is that's where he took a full load. This is about a half a trailer. But uh, all right, then we should have plenty because we need to plant at least the three fields once we harvest them. So we're going to put right. seeds over the fuel, and hopefully by the time we uh, need fuel on like the harvester or something like that, we might be buying a bigger one. So we won't need fuel on demand, but yeah, we definitely need to. Yeah, and Dre said that he'll check on it. He has more of a understanding about this map than I do. Dre's just had to put this freaking uh, this grass over here, so I can't see exactly where the edge of this damn pond is. <laughs> There's like man tall grass over here and I can't see exactly where the pond ends and the grass starts <laughs> and I've got a log stuck and I can't get it to fall in it's just a little piece of one oh I think it looks cool it's just very annoying to try to figure out how to get this tiny little end of a log in here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take the tractor in there just trying to get that little piece of shit. Yeah, Roddy, it's a it's a really fun game. I've got like eight hundred hours in this game. Um mods make this game, like modded maps and stuff. Are what make this game so good, dude. So does the uh, the separate account stuff works just like it did before, right? It should for you guys. For me, I've always had problems when I'd be an admin and I'd come back and I I wouldn't have any money. Some are basically like trout. Did he had some money in there. I don't know exactly if he tried pulling it out when he was getting ready to buy the trailer and he realized he didn't have enough. If he kept it, I'm not sure what happened, but he lost all of his money. Yeah, there's always been some little issues like that. All right. For the seeds, I, I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Thirty-five K ought to be enough for a while, right? I mean, yeah, I think so. I thought when I looked at uh, Trout when he's in that red burn, I thought I saw the grate, but it might have been just the angle. Maybe it shows up in a vehicle. I don't know. Well, it, if you look down on it, it, you know, you see the, the concrete underneath, so you don't see underneath the platform. But when you're walking up the ramp as the person, that, then you can see underneath it. So yeah, that's what I had. Because when I, when I walked by, I went in there, and I had the same thing you did, where it was like you couldn't see the, uh, the grade or anything. You just saw the the concrete ground underneath where it was placed. <laughs> I'm not too out of practice. I can still push trees. <laughs> That's good. You're building up the money pretty good. I got 24 in the bank. 24,000 so we can buy another tipper but uh, not at the moment we, we gotta get something else first yeah I got like 15k in the bank right now cool yeah keep 
keep it up. Please. I'm having fun. I, I've missed this. I haven't played so long that it's kind of, it's fun again, you know? Yeah, I missed you being on the server, but I also, now I understand why there are some people that annoy you easier than others. Yeah, but it was, you know, part of it was just I played so much and I kind of got burnt out, you know? I just, like, when we first started that PV 15 version 2 map, like, I put in, I was putting in like 11 hours a day, and I just burnt myself out on it, basically. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I could understand that. I, I did basically the same thing when I was, you know, with Dave on his server, and then some of the rules they had there, and other little things, that they were starting to annoy me more than anything else, and... Basically, I probably would add an ulcer if I probably tried to stick it out. But then I decided it's time for me to leave. It was no more fun. And it worked out good because that's when everybody fell apart and Dave quit streaming and all that. So it all worked out. Yeah, he quit streaming altogether, didn't he? I mean, he streamed dark for a while there, but then he just quit streaming that too. Yeah, I'm don't know why he quit streaming art, but actually there's some news that uh, maybe he might be getting back in. I heard Honda Farmer, which is Dan, which is uh, one of the main uh, workers for Dave, along with there's Big Daddy, Jeff. Um, but I heard Hunter Farmer today, and it's not saying that Dave's coming back right away, but if Hunter Farmer's on the, you know, he's on Viper stream. If he's on that, there's a chance that uh, Dave might say, hey, maybe at the end of the month, he might jump in there and start working on uh, Rivers. Because I still feel that Dave will come back, but, and I'm thinking more towards, uh, yeah, I'm thinking more towards March. He might put uh, Rivers out. Because Dave doesn't need a long time to uh, really get the, the map up and going. It's just hopefully he found some things like with Ackendorf with making uh, packages and stuff like that. The only thing wrong with the main thing I feel wrong with Ackendorf, that's that German map that we're on, is you put all this time, money, and effort into putting crops into the main ma manufacturer. And you only get a couple thousand dollars per pallet, and you only get a couple pallets, and you put in like 10 pallets of each crop there, and you only get a pallet out for every 10 pallets you put in there, and you're only making a couple thousand dollars a pallet. So I'm not sure how you make money on that map. Yeah, I remember you guys were talking about that when you were playing it. I mean, I'm sure, like, last time I looked, when Dave was previewing Rivers or whatever, it was pretty good ways on, you know. It probably wouldn't take him too much to get it the rest of the way. Yeah, well, that, he only had when I was on his map, and that's basically when he left it. He only had, like, a sixth of the map done. And he was hoping for fresh ideas, and he thought maybe they'll come out of the mod contest and ideas but he didn't want to basically take uh, Pleasant Valley and transfer it just to that map he wanted to improve and change it so it's not just the same thing just a flatter map or something different oh he's starting rivers from scratch now huh okay it's cool Maybe uh, something came out. Maybe he saw. Maybe like Ackendorf, he saw that. And I, I'm not trying to think his way, but maybe he said he, he'll start from scratch. 
Oh, know. when he started? No. Well, he started from scratch, but he put in the quarry. He put he didn't put in the construction yet, but he didn't get that far. But everything was new. Flat map, re relocated everything, but he doesn't want to pull out the stuff from Pleasant Valley and stick it in the rivers just in different locations so that's why he's hoping for something new yeah but rivers was started it is a brand new map that he made but again he wasn't going to pull everything out of uh, valley to put in the rivers and that's basically what he did because or what he was starting to do simply because there wasn't anything new out there and not only that but all the time and effort he put in because that guy would work almost 20 hours on the map making art all the time. He slept in the room with the computer on. And uh, whenever he felt like he was awake, he'd get up and he'd start working away, solving problems. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a lot of work to, to make a map completely from scratch and everything. And to try to come up with something new that hasn't agree. been done and everything else, you know? Yeah. No, you're right. It's a lot of work. Because we ask him a question and we tell him this isn't working. And just like when Trout was having problems with uh, lambs turning into wheat, he, that stopped him for a couple, several days where he wouldn't work on the map. He's trying to figure that out because everything else worked fine and everybody else is single player or anything like that. And only one trout got on and uh, pulled out his little uh, trailer and tried to fill it up. Would that happen? Did they ever so, figure that out? No, that had to be uh, something in a trout server. Uh, probably like something corrupted file loaded or something. up wrong. But I can't actually remember what happened when Big Daddy jumped in onto the server when you guys weren't on it. And I don't remember if he had an issue with it or not. I can't remember. And that, that would have been the most important one if it happened with Big Daddy doing it on Trout's server. But they pulled all the, you know, they used all the mods, they used the save game, loaded it into a different computer, fired it up, not a problem. Some kind of failed communication between the server code and the game code, probably. Well, yeah, they also discovered they had one, I think it was, it could have been, I don't know if it was a Chevy pickup or a different pickup. But it actually had an error in it, and it would hesitate a millisecond while it's loading the game. And so something that was supposedly supposed to load right after that, because it generally goes alphabetical, would load first, and it'd come up with the error. And if you played it in single player, I believe it didn't have that because your single player CPU was a little faster and a little quicker or whatever and that other one didn't have time to get in front of it but the millisecond that it would on a server it would cause it to throw an error and I mean the, for the game to kind of like crash or not do something I can't remember what part that one was but it was only because there was a minor error in the mod that made its load behind the mod that was behind it. That's the thing with mods sometimes. I know like when I used to play Skyrim, I modded the hell out of that thing. And sometimes you could have like, you'd have 70, 80 mods and it'd be fine. Then you'd add just one more and it just wouldn't be compatible with something else you had. And it would just cause the entire thing to just die. Yeah, that happened many times. And that's why Dave was always stressing. If you're using any other mods than the ones we're recommending, you can't complain to us. In fact, it's in this PDF full, you know, file saying, you know, if you're using other mods, 
and it doesn't work. It's not our fault. But everybody wants their own truck in there, and that's fine. And usually for a single-player game, it's really not an issue, unless if you start getting some mods that are really corrupted. And until Dave started explaining that, you know, how to look for, you know, a bad mod by using the tilde key and uh, the whatchamacallit control, where, you know, and see what the errors pop up, I had no clue about that. You know, if a, especially if an error was running from another mod, but it wasn't a bad enough error, but the second mod they put in there would amplify the first mod type of thing. That's when I started learning about the errors and how to work on those. Yeah, I used to hate programming because, like, like Draves just put in there, if you miss one single, one single character in a line of code, it can screw up the entire freaking thing. Or yeah, uh, even if you put a space in, or if you put a comma instead of a period, you know, something along that line. I remember doing that with the VIC-20, and the, and the sad thing is the VIC-20 didn't have no memory, so it's an, no real memory. As soon as you shut it off, you lose everything. So you sit there typing in pages of commands just to make a bird fly across the screen. Yeah. Get it to do that. <laughs> By the time you're ready for it to fly across the screen, you're so tired. And then you hit, you know, you turn the power off and you got to start from scratch again. Yeah, I remember doing the same kind of thing on the old Commodore 64s and shit. It's like, ugh. We're old. We're just so old, you know. You're still young. <laughs> uh, You're probably. Way than I am. Sure, I feel so old though. But I got more hair than you. You might want to wear a baseball hat when you're bending down in front of the camera. You get, oh, get that I shine down. Couldn't care less. I know. <laughs> Something told me that about you a long time ago. <laughs> you care less. Oh man, like. My hair used to be so thick. I hated it. It was such a pain in the ass to keep it clean because it was so thick that, you know, like to shampoo it and clean it would take forever. I used to have long hair when I was uh, when I was younger. And, oh my God, I hated that crap. And now I'm starting to, like, thin out. I'm like, yes, finally. I think I'm one of the few men that exist that's, like, semi-happy about going bald. <laughs> yeah, I never could get up the courage to shave my head. I thought about it several times, but no. Nope. Even a crew cut, I haven't had a crew cut since I was in grade school. But that'd be the easiest way for me to cut the hair, because I cut my own hair. I haven't been to a barber in decades. But I use a flubby the shop back uh yeah i just take a i take a you know one of those cutters that they have in like a barber shop you know you can buy them nowadays i just take one of those with no guard or like the thinnest guard and, and cut it that way i don't have to worry about it yeah i got a couple of those but i i have the guards on them and I thought about putting in a higher guard and doing it. Eh, who knows, maybe next summer. And then again, maybe next summer I'll shave my head. I doubt it, but no one sees me anyways. Well, that See, I never cared. I was always like, you know, I just do whatever I want. And I just hate trying to maintain hair when it's longer. You know, you have to keep up with it and keep it cleaned and keep it you know, combed and straightened and everything else all the time. And it's just like, screw that. It's too much work. I'm lazy. In some ways, though, I do kind of miss having, like, you know, I used to have hair down to my shoulders back in the, like, early 90s, I guess. It would probably look weird now, because it is thinning out and everything.
And I suppose if you wanted to see a picture of me, I do have a picture on my new Facebook I just got done making with Get Her Done. Uh, Farmall. Now you can find out my Twitch page. I have a button along with that going to Twitter. And I have pictures of my computer along with some of the models I made along with my trains. And in one of the pictures, I put myself inside of one of the model cars. Nice. So you, like, you do the model cars, or? Yeah, I did. I haven't done it for probably about a, two years, maybe at the most. I used to do those when I was, like, I don't know, 12 or 13. Had a bunch of the, like, I, I loved classic cars, like old Mustangs and Camaros and shoebox Chevys and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, well, if you want to see what uh, models I was making, uh, like I said, it's on my, go to my Twitch page, and uh, it has the two buttons below, one's Twitter and one's Facebook, and I just put the Facebook up yesterday. You so might have to check there. it out. If you want. And then the one, if you find the one with the G27 steering wheel, the picture from the computers, that's my newer set up that's what I have right now the other ones are throughout the years I've been here for almost 19 years 18 years I'm sure your models probably would be better than mine did because I always like tried to customize mine you know <laughs> yeah I customize mine too like uh, there's a good humor truck in there it is made from a pickup truck and a hunk of Two by four. The two by four is the back square of the old uh, good humor truck. Nice. The mail truck, because uh, I used to work for the post office, for the mail Jeep, was actually uh, the Daisy Duke Jeep from uh, what's that show? From the Dukes of Hazard. Dukes of Hazard. I'm, I'm pushing my luck over here with this freaking pawn. Like, I do not know how I haven't went in yet. Draves did kind of make this pond a uh, a little a little sketchy to get to. <laughs> all these stinking grass all around it. You're right, Dave. Trout, good, Trout sure probably would have been in there several times. It's in the corner of the map. I don't think he spent a whole lot of time in the corner. I've been trying to keep him towards the center of the map. Yeah, but the way I'm pushing these trees in, I, I'm sure Trout would have been in a couple of times by now. <laughs> Poor old trout. We give him so much shit about his driving. Yeah, well, almost everybody's heard about it on the internet, on Twitch. You don't know how many times I've heard people say, oh, we pulled a trout. And trout's heard it, too, from other streamers. Yeah, I, I, I was trout. telling him about some guy I was watching one day, and trout had never been in there, and he came in, and the guy was like, oh, crap, I just pulled a trout. Trout was like, what the hell? I've never even heard of this guy. I don't think the guy had ever even, like, showed up. He'd never said anything in Trout stream. I guess he'd probably been a lurker or whatever, you know. But <laughs> it's like everywhere he goes. It's like KW. Everywhere KW goes, everybody knows who he is. Oh, yeah, <laughs> true. So what are our um, purchasing priorities, do you know? 
I don't really know if a tractor would be, well, um, I'd hate to say we should get an air seeder, because Gru is over, whatever, is over here cultivating, we get the air seeder, and then we don't need him to cultivate anymore, but, uh, no, I really don't know. I'm open for suggestions. But I don't think we really have the money to worry about anything right now. We got 40,000 in the uh, on the server, which is a good good job so far. Um, but I, I really don't know what would be the best thing to buy first. I've got another 30k to put to that, so I don't know if like I don't know if trying to do the wood chips and sell the wood chips would be you know the way to go or well it'd be a start it'd be a good start because uh, I think I'm I'm getting kind of trees on here diminishing returns on the trees at this point starting to kind of not get quite as much for them Wood chips work. We sell those. Are we going to take them to uh, what you call it, right? Uh, Cogen. I think you, you can take them to what is it, biomass or whatever. The the bio. Yeah, you have to pull it up plant. and see if uh, the biomass has a good price or not. I have not looked at that prices yet, really. Other than when I first started harvesting, just to get an idea where I could take the sugar cane, uh, sorghum. It looks like that's the only place to take it, and it's only about five. Well, it's five forty-seven a ton or whatever, which isn't isn't bad, but it's not great. Then we could also think about getting just a, a single lawnmower blade and something to pick it up and get the BJ going and sell silage. Yeah, that's, but I that's think always good. It's uh, not quite, I don't think we should do that quite yet. We'd and have we, to have a front loader to do it too. Right, we need a couple other things first. Yeah, I mean you'd have to have a front loader and a mower and a uh, forage wagon. So that's probably like, I don't know what the cheapest front loader he's got in mods or whatever well games. actually we could probably get away with if you look in there somewhere there should be the case IH jumbo thing it, it's a loader whatchamacallit thing that will rake up straw and grass and stuff like that and it has a front pickup so we could put a single blade on the front whatever that would equal out to be would be about the cheapest way to start that because that could also be that uh, oh whatchamacallit the jumbo thing could also be used to pick up straw so we don't need to get a loading wagon for that because it's motorized it's what we've been using on uh, Baxley it's really what's it called? Cool. let me see if I can find it He may not have it in here. It's under tippers. It's one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. It's the TSL Case IH Jumbo. Oh, okay. But uh, actually what you do, what, that's multifunctional machine. You can put the Burks in front, shoot the chips right into the back, drive that to wherever you need to unload. You can unload. Um, you could take and 
put the mower blade on the front, cut the grass, it'll pick up right behind as you cut the grass. And it also hauls, hauls almost all the products or crops other than uh, gravel and stone. Yeah, I think we're going to be a ways away from that though. 160 k is a lot. Yes, I agree. That's what I'm saying. It's the same with the BGA stuff. Uh, a lawnmower. A lawnmower blade would be okay, but we can't really do anything without some kind of collecting wagon. So I'm thinking more like possibly um, a little bit bigger header for this harvester would help out. But then we got to detach whenever we want to unload or another tractor. So somebody, you know, if we got four people in, at least four people could be working. Yeah. But the tractors are so darn expensive too. Yeah, that's true. I mean, cheapest reasonable use tractor is probably seventy thousand or something. Yeah, it'd probably be almost like one of the cheaper, low power stock tractors. I think most of ours are the few that he has in there are the bigger ones that I think they might start out in the two hundred thousand dollar range. Other than the Fords and if you put that in there, I think that's a few hundred dollars, but that's won't even pull the cultivator, I don't think. I don't think it's even gonna hook up to the cultivator to pull it. Yeah, I saw that in there and I was like, that's probably not gonna move anything. <laughs> Nah, it, it tops out like a 13 mile an hour. The farm all, that one I would almost be, you know, thinking of getting, but uh, that'd be, you know, why get that when you sp save a few more thousand dollars and get something good? Although the farm all does work pretty well. Well, there's a John Deere for 20,000. I don't know what it is. It's really small looking. Oh, that's the lawnmower. That thing. I don't remember that thing being worth any value. So it's probably not even good to, to have for mowing, is it? No, uh, you got a different mowing blade. Because before, it would it would throw the stuff underneath your tires and halfway out to the side. So you couldn't see where you last cut instead of being squared, you know, to the blade. So that, you know, if, if the patch where the tires are wasn't cut, you could cut where your tires are where before it was covering up that path so you couldn't tell unless you only went one direction so I think he said that that one was fixed so now you can see it supposedly puts either pushes the grass out or it throws it right underneath the bottom I forgot what he said it does but when we had it in um, Ackendorf we didn't find very much use for it didn't have very much power, really didn't do very much. And the pro hopper, we had more fun with because we could just sit in one spot, fill it up, dump it, and make, you know, $10,000. Because there's a grass spot right next to the trigger. And all you do is sit there with the blade on and load it up, dump it, let it settle down, fill it up, dump it. That's how we made some money on Ackendorf. But that was a grass texture. That wasn't the, the lawnmower itself. And I think on this map, it would not do that. I don't think it has the same grass texture. Probably not. But shortly after this one came out is when people started using a different type of grass texture. And that's when that changed. Like on Ackendorf, Baxley, uh, some of these other newer mods that are using that grass texture. Um, you just sit there with the mower blade on and it'll just fill up your hopper if it has a capacity, capacity on it.
Okay, I'm done with this sorghum field. If somebody wants to empty out the trailer, and uh, I'll probably go across and start the other field. All right, I'll come grab the trailer. Whatever's in. Uh, I see it says 22. I don't think we. I don't even know where I'm at. Gray's got it. All right. All right. This sounds like a good deal. He's gonna drop it at the farm. Yeah, that way we can figure Just out what we need later, for later. Man, yeah. And I'm heading over to field one. Oh, that's right. We own all the fields, so that's why I'm looking at the green twenty-two. That one doesn't have anything on it. Yeah, I'm heading over to field one. I'm still down here pushing trees around, so. You're doing great. Oh, this is Sugarcane. I don't even think I'm going to make it halfway down the road. Bro, I think, doesn't Sugarcane fill up fast or no? I forgot. Um, I, think I'll take I was thinking Sugarcane and Sour Gum are about the same, about the same yield, aren't they? It's been so long since I really done it on other maps or on the Pleasant Valley style map. So we'll find out. I'm going to take the short way. So this way, if I could make it all the way across, it's a good thing. Because I hate going halfway down the row and having to empty out. They're, the the uh, trees are getting farther and farther away. They're getting harder and harder to actually push in the right directions. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. I remember that happening on many maps. Because uh, I forgot which map we were doing. But I was actually able to cut down several trees to have them fall into the triggers. Oh, I think it was Pleasant Valley. When we tried to put like 20 sawmills around the one hill uh, by the green farm and so all we did is go around and try and aim to get the triggers of fall, uh, the trees to fall into the triggers for the sawmills yeah that would probably work if you, if you placed sawmills near the trees yeah it did it did quite well except for some most of the sawmills were floating because it was at level ground there and Trot just slapped down 20 of them wherever he decided to put him. Uh, imagine that, Trout, just throwing stuff wherever he wants it. <laughs> hey, Gorilla, why don't you leave it down on the dirt road there, in between, up, oh, sorry, because it looks like I could go uh, back and forth, so I shouldn't have to drive back without, you know, harvesting. And this fence over here would be too much in the way. Although, do anybody know if this uh, field is fertilized? Because if we were to fertilize it, wouldn't we almost double the crop? I don't know. You'll have to talk to the uh, map maker man there. Because maybe we should think about doing that. But I don't care. I, I wasn't doing it on Baxley. It took me three hours to, with the Pronto to seed it with canola and like five refills. I just didn't feel like fertilizing it. Nobody else was coming in except for Coop. And he was busy and he wasn't in all the time, so. Yeah, we won't worry about the fertilizer on this first round. We'll get it next round for sure. I might have to, uh, I might end up buying one of those. Does he have a log skitter thing in here? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Here, let me get it. I might have I'll to send it to the farm. I might have to buy one of those. Yeah, we'll buy it with the server. 
hold on to your money until we need it. I don't know how many trees I've cut down. I know there's a hell of a lot of stumps and they're getting, that's part of the issue is like the stumps are getting more and more in my way where I've cut down so many now. So every time I try to push a log Do you between, feel like doing some stump grinding while you're over there or no? I mean, if if we can afford stump, some kind of has the stump t uh, attacher that will go on the front. I mean, I I don't mind. Yeah, that's fine. I can do, I can do some. It doesn't matter to me. At least the ones that are in your way. Yeah, they're both on the farm. Right, and if not, just carry it over thing. there so that uh, if somebody's looking for something to do and you're not in or whatever, you just drive over there with the tractor and start going at it. You know where it's at. Let's see. That'll be something for the front and the back, right? Might have to drop this weight here yeah. right now until I get back down here. That or leave the weight down on uh, the farm. Because it might be needed if he's going to seed. I don't Or does the other tractor have a weight on Whatever you want to do. It's fine. We could reset it if we need it on the farm. So where does stuff get reset to on this? The farm. Right, right, in right in the center. Been right, right by the tower that you uh, fall off of, jump off of. A little death and Matty Weed. How's it going? I don't know why, but this is the part I've always enjoyed anyway. Like, I've always enjoyed getting started more than I have, like, later on. Alright, yeah. Trying to figure out the map has always been my challenge. Like, I love that challenge. Like, Ackendorf was great. Having to look up German words on Google and trying to figure out what they mean, because... I, I don't know, there's some words that are so similar that I'm not sure if I ever figured them out yet. Yeah, I know, it's like, I remember trying to play, uh, I can't remember the name of the map, there was one I tried to play when I first started playing, and it was like that, had, had, uh, I think they were French words, and it was such a pain in the ass to figure out what went where and everything. Well, this and store the word storage. They put the st word storage on everything, but yet you look at what's stored there, and you'll see the wheat pile, you'll see the corn pile, you see the barley pile, but it still says you know whatever word it was for storage. And it, instead of having the individual you know corn, you know the building's for storage if you see it sitting there. But they decide to label it to storage got annoying oh yeah that would that would probably aggravate me a bit <laughs> yeah screw the, screw the French too. <laughs> like, the only thing the French have ever contributed to the world is culinary shit <laughs> I will I will give them their their proper due on the fact that them and people can cook, and they, they did figure out how to make amazing stuff. Even if my redneck ass can't pronounce it, I can still make it. But 
can't pronounce. So Draves, you're gonna uh, you're gonna cultivate all the fields we own before you get off tonight, right? The whole map. <laughs> we own all the fields. Yeah, I know. It's like, oh my god, that would take days. Ah, uh, you just have to wait a minute. You'll go in and you'll flip the thing to unowned, and then come back. Yep, I'm done. <laughs> Oh, a flock of ducks went flying overhead. So we start out with two of these things, but do we have a uh, do we have a trailer that goes under those? The fuel tanker and the uh, Bog strike? No. Not yet. All the unplanted fields are already cultivated. Aha. Oh, so he's a step ahead of you. Fancy schmancy. So we've got, so you start with one, two, and three planted, right? With corn and then sunflower and or yeah, sour gum and sugar. Yeah, you already did those alone. Where have you been? Sleeping? Oh, you know, spending three hours downloading individual mods since it wouldn't let me download them as a pack. Coop's going to come in tomorrow and see all the easy to cut down trees are already gone down here in this corner. <laughs> all the ones closest to the thing are already going to be gone. He's going to cuss me tomorrow. Not really. Because once he gets that Burks, he's going to be going crazy. From the racetrack. Is that what you call your uh, your path around the outside of the thing? Yeah. Yes. I haven't really touched most of those. It's just ones well right there next to the water. I just cut down the closest ones to the water so I could push them in. I guess now that I got this uh, log skitter thing, I can just pull them over to the train area, turn the train off after I do a bunch. Whatever you feel works best. Yeah. Because don't you get more? If you, well, no, I think that's if you load them on, well, on days when you loaded them on the train and then send them off, you get more and push yeah. them in the water.
Yeah, I, uh, I saw that uh, little loop-de-loop -loop track thing you got going on up there. Looks kind of interesting. Yeah, you might be able to buy a go-kart. I don't know if he has go-karts in here or not. He had them in before. Yeah, he's got them in here. Thousand dollars for a go kart. Nineteen thousand for a K five blazer. Those blazers were pretty good too. Probably have to pick up an old Chevy pickup. I think we're gonna have to take a look at that before we really buy those because Depending on which one he got, one was set up for gold, because that was, let me see, I don't, maybe the one, I think maybe the one that's in there might be the one for the chickens, but he was setting one up for gold, and I'm not sure if we got that one or not, but this one would haul the eggs or chickens. Yeah, I remember... I remember in PV2 you had to haul the eggs with the, uh, the old the Chevy pickup. pickup. Truck. The Dons. Hello, Dame Wood, Dam Wood. I'm not sure which one that's supposed to be. Welcome to the stream either way. The only thing I've never liked about stumps is they're kind of hard to see sometimes. I yeah, tried to they cut them up a little bit. Worse with their last update, they made it so you got to be right on them to see them, even if you go into development tools. Because I used to turn on the development tools just to see where they were on the hill. Now you got to be about the tractor length away from a stump to see it. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass to make it to find them. I'm like zoomed in right beside the tractor so I can see them a little easier. Yeah, the Berks will help out on that. It, it gets most of the stump, but it doesn't really get all of the stumps. And once in a while you'll get into just the proper angle where it won't get a whole bunch of them. And that's why that stump grinder will be needed. I just, I, you know, they don't bother me too much, but, you know, like I said, with trying to move the logs around on the ground like this, it makes it a lot harder, so. Yeah, they kind of would get in the way of rolling or dragging that log. Yeah, because it's, it's to the point now where there's like, you know, there's one just a little to the left of where you drop the tree and the one to the little to the right. And it's kind of knocking it back and forth, and it's kind of screwing up the way I was trying to push them before. It was really screwing with me, knocking them way off of track, and then I'd have to, like, try to turn them, and it was a pain in the ass there towards the last few I cut. So this, uh, this skitter thing should make it a lot easier, though.
kind of hoping it snows here. It's supposed to snow either tonight or sometime tomorrow. Or at least I think that's what they said anyway. I don't remember. Yeah, we're supposed to get cold. But we might get a little bit of snow, but I think uh, KW opened up the fridge or something like that because all that cold air is coming over across Chicago. Sub-zero weather. <laughs> At least wind chills are like 20 below. They're talking about out here by Sunday. That's, that's a little chilly. Yeah, well, I don't have to go anywhere until like a week from today. So I'm fine. <laughs> You're like me. You can just stay home, not care. <laughs> as long as I got my Pepsi, I'm set. And I bought two, two, two liter bottles today. So, that'll, that'll last me a few days. I'm glad I don't drink so anymore. I, I drank way too much. Like, I was drinking uh, about four two liters of Mountain Dew a day. Well, that's not good. Well, the only thing is, like, it did help my headaches. Like, when I was drinking so much, it was like I would have a headache once every two or three weeks and since I've quit drinking so much again um, I'm having headaches like three and four times a week again well that sounds even worse but yeah it was uh, it was really bad for like my teeth my teeth are pretty bad to begin with and I can't really afford to have them fixed so yeah, my teeth are plastic. <laughs> Injecting diabetes. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm also true. a heart patient since uh, 98. And uh, they kind of want me to less than two liters of liquid per day. But the doctor says, don't worry about it. If I feel thirsty, go ahead and drink. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty close. I keep close to that I just saw KW said yep and Canada's cranking up the wind machine too <laughs> wasn't that just a uh, trout talking a lot yeah, that's a possibility dropping I dropped that the wrong way that's stupid you're streaming now right I should turn on the browser I turned that off and tried switched over to Chetty yeah mine's a going I think anyway I'm, I'm dropping some frames for some reason I don't know if it's the uh I, I don't know if it's like looking making this stream look bad or not I can't tell but OBS says I'm dropping some frames I don't know if it's the server I'm on or if it's my net um, because of the storming or whatever Yeah, your, your stream doesn't look bad over here. There's no face cam, so that's an improvement. Yeah. Oh, did I say that out loud? Oh, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I agree with you. <laughs> Still looks good, KW. All right. I, it, I don't think it's many frames. It says I've dropped like 128 or something. 
So it's not many. That's like 0 0.06 or something percent. But and it could possibly would it be anything like a save game, server save game that might have thrown something off, or won't that affect you? I don't know if it would or not, to be honest. Oh, great. I can't go around that. You know how that legs games. Uh, legs in the game when the server kicks a save out there. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if it joke. would affect the frames or not, though. All right. I'm not sure, to be honest. I just screwed that log up. Great job. Drave's got me again. I thought I could go around behind this, but no, he's got to butt right up against the mountain. Yeah, I noticed that uh, a little too late there, Draves. Thanks. issue I'm really having is now it's getting stuck on the uh, on the freaking train tracks I can't get it off I kind of am not a fan of fences either. I would pull it out if I had the map, but yeah, not my map. It's fine. Oh, I got a kick out of watching Trout play Iron Horse the other day. <laughs> yeah, that one would be a fun map, except for, again, I pulled all the, the fences out and those goofy uh, walls, some of the walls out. But I think I was gonna go back in and instead of pulling them all out just pull out more or less the sections that would bother my driving well for trout that would be all of them <laughs> yeah well basically I just clicked the fences folder he had uh, quite a few of them in there and just deleted them and then uh, there's a couple fences that are in between some of the different uh, Sort of like by the silos, there's some kind of fence that helps separate some of the stuff, and those were gone. All right, I give up on that log for right now. I'll have to come back and get that one. <laughs> well played, Draves. You got me on that one. I thought for sure I'd be able to drive around behind that place, but no. Drave's, uh, Drave's got me on that one. You know, we could get him back. I could always shut down the server without saving, and the trail would be back up in the air. You could cut it down again, you know, not to go back that way. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it in a minute. I've got it about turned around now. I just got to get it off the uh, edge of those logs in a minute, and it'll be all right.
This thing doesn't go up as high as I remember. Like, well, I guess it's just my memory. But I thought this thing went higher up so that the tree only drug at the end or whatever. Wait, is this the trigger? What is this a trigger for, Draves? Like... Oh, this is the uh, sand map fixer thing. Okay. I probably could have dropped some of these trees right into this thing, though. To be honest, now that I'm over here looking at it. Actually, if you could get those to fall so they land inside those uh, tra train parts with the logs in there, you get more money. Mm, I don't know if they're tall yeah, enough. All you to have to do is train. get the tip in there. I guess it's a good experiment. Let's give her a shot here. Yeah, if not, just bash it around to the trigger. But there's a trigger that goes across the top of those yellow bars. That little big B14. It looks like it's like, oh, it's like well played, Draves. It's like three feet too short to reach the, uh, to reach the thing. I yeah, know watch. I know Draves had a tape measure. <laughs> like yeah. measured those off going, I wonder which asshole's gonna try to drop those in there first. Are they all the same height over yeah. there? It looks like it, yeah. Well, I guess that's him thinking outside the box. Yeah, I put the tall ones in here, they'll just chop them down, drop them in the trigger. They don't do no work. Get a bunch of money. I could probably drop them into the trigger, but you can't drop them onto the train. That's what I was trying. Yeah, well, that's, well, okay. But yeah, that is another part of the trigger. Yeah, there's another trigger on the train, which if it works the way the other PV did, it would be more money. Yeah, but if, it, if they're 40 meters long, if you didn't bury 3 meters, it, it would have made it. Yeah, if if it was 3 meters long, if it was another 2 meters longer, it would have hit. It would have went right in. Just that much of a difference. Like, erg. Then it's almost like having floating trees if you don't have them planted in the ground. And people tend to laugh at that, I guess, if you have floating trees. Yeah, they do look a little silly, to be honest. I'm here to get my weight so I can push this thing around. I see the grass that you're talking about. Yeah. It's all around the edge except for one spot over here. And it's yeah, it, so hard but it to does tell. Look nice. Oh yeah, I mean it looks it looks like a pond wood, you know, with grass around it, but you know, it's like when you're when you're trying to push a log in there and you're right up on the edge trying to force it in, it's like okay, am I going in? Am I not going in? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. Whoopsie. I guess that means I'm semi entertaining at least.
Alright, let's see if we can be strategic about this. Oh, that was it's just a little off there. Now we're going for two pointers. Slam dunk. I wish I had come over and looked at this trigger before I started all this. This would have been a little easier this way. Your beautiful forest looks fantastic in my cash flow drives. <laughs> that one. I know, right, KW? I should be yelling, I guess. Luckily, no one's over here to uh, have all these trees land on their head. Oh, that one just missed the edge. That's communism. Draves They're mocking there. you alone. They're mocking you. Don't let them get away with yeah. that. Draves is over there just crying at what I'm doing to this map. <laughs>
That was a quick and easy 10,000. How much, like, oh. That one was so close, like, I don't know how much that missed by. Look at this. The tip of that's literally, like, six inches from the box. That's such crap. <laughs> like you said, he went out there and measured it. Yeah, exactly six inches since you went out there with a freaking micrometer to make sure I couldn't hit that one in. He's probably got his slide rule set up over there. Yep, slide. Putting the numbers in there. Yep. I don't know how many more of these will actually just drop in. Maybe these two. Well, let me know when you send the train. We'll find out what kind of money we have and then make a decision on what you think we might could, or what we could use next. I was going to say fertilizer, but we don't even have anything to make fertilizer yet. we got to plant wheat or something i don't know if it take if he has a machine i think he has a machine in there if it's like pv straw and the manure that one didn't fall do we have that machine in here i would probably say yes he has everything else in here plus uh probably some more But we don't even have the wheat to put in there, the straw from the wheat. Yeah, that's true. And if we get a lawnmower, we got to get a... Yeah, by the BGA complex. Uh, if we get a lawnmower, we got to get a strong enough lawnmower... Uh, strong enough tractor to work the lawnmower blade. Along with probably uh, pulling... Uh, the loader thing. Yeah, if we get the small loader, I know this will pull uh, the small uh, forward blade. And work the front blade on it? If we get that front blade part? Yeah, because that's how I did um, that's how I did the start on the last time we did this. It was with one of these that deep spars. use another tractor. Yeah, I mean, if we could afford another tractor, you know, we could always grab one. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get this last log here, and then I'll probably, uh, probably send the train off and clean up these stumps.
and we'll see what we make off of that. Yeah, right now I just have enough to buy another tractor. The Ditz 6.61 Aerostar, Agrostar. I think that's what you're in. Yeah, that's the one I'm in. figure out what we want to do first and what would be the right move so need your input trying to figure out what to spend that money on yeah because i think we'll have probably at least 150k between the three three accounts or whatever mine yours and his i'd say you're real close to being right yes Cause I've got 50k, so he's got 50k, and then... The has always been me. I'd rather let somebody else screw it up, no, make a decision. <laughs> at least at this part. Once everybody starts making money and, you know, everything's starting to gel, then I don't mind making decisions. I would honestly say get some kind of, like, just a mower on the front and a small forage wagon and start silage. Because if we get the silage going, we can turn the slurry into fertilizer. The, um, True, and as far as silage. getting another tractor, we don't. We could get the conveyors. Because you put just, the trailer behind the tractor with the conveyor on it, and it'll load right in behind you. Yeah, I mean, if we could get, I, I don't know, I know these dudes fars are freaking, they're not bad, but they're really expensive maintenance. I don't know if there's yeah. anything else that he's got in the mods that's like similar no, prices. No, I don't think so. Because what do these things do? Like, these things have got 105 kilowatts and 143 horsepower for 50,000. That's cheap. Actually, we should try this TSL for uh, that one that was right next to your Fordson white tractor. That's a lawnmower with the cage in the back. Now, the problem with that is on those other maps, it was one of those that you just park with the mower blade on and it'll fill that up. I don't think it'll do that on this map, but that's only 2,500 and that alone will cut grass and I could carry that. I, I would suggest getting one of those and giving it out a try before we buy any other lawnmower. It's 2,500. I'd be willing to try that one out first. Yeah, we give it a shot. I mean, because it cuts the grass and it puts it right in the basket. So all we do is have to cut the grass around the BGA. If hopefully it doesn't really suck up the grass fakely, you know, where it automatically fills up when it's parked. I don't think this map will do it. It might, but I think in that case, I'd be willing to sell it, and get rid of it uh, right away yeah. instead of take advantage of it and learn from the two thousand five hundred dollar. Yeah, I mean, $2,500 just two trees. I'm not, you know, it, it's worth it's, giving it a shot. We can it's cheaper than getting take it out. a front blade and another tractor. Not only that, but if we get the, if it works fine, we get the pellet fork. Although there's no missions in here, we got a pellet fork uh, machine. Or we could even put a bucket on the front and use that for a bucket loader. I just saw the train come back, and I thought it was one of you guys down here driving by me. I was like... <laughs> no, I'm stuck over here in the sugar cane. But yeah, that's that would be my choice of what I would like to have in there. Then try that one out. That shouldn't take up very much money. But like I said, as long as it doesn't cheat, 
and uh, fill when they're parked. And I think I did have that in the regular Pleasant Valley in my game, and it didn't do that. It wasn't until we started doing Ackendorf that we started noticing that you could just park and it'll overfill. So that's got seconds. like the mower built into it? Yeah, it has a mower deck right underneath the tractor and it loads it right into a cage. It has a wash tub that hangs out the back for no reason at all. Well, we can get one of those and give it a try, see what it does. Like you said, I mean, if it if it's broken, you know, if it's if it's one of those cheap things, we'll just toss it back. And I mean, if you sell it, you're only gonna lose what thousand bucks or something, fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah, we could actually make that up before we sell it. I sent the train off, and I got another eleven thousand seven hundred out of the train. Yeah, we're up to sixty-six thousand over here. So not only that, but there's a grass pile I think right over here by this barn or something. That should mean it's a grass sell point. So I could just cut the grass that's in the area and sell it. Although it usually doesn't make big money, but you will pay for the lawnmower if it's a cheap. You'd buy a thousand dollars, no problem. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can cut down a tree and make up how much you'll lose on it. It's not. It's not a big risk or anything. I'd say I'll buy one. Okay. Well, that's my one pick. Now you guys pick the next vehicle. Because I'll be happy with that with the BGA for now. Well, if I know... If it doesn't, if it works. Um, we're going to need some kind of... Um, something to transport slurry. If we're gonna do the BGA and then turn the slurry into uh, into fertilizer to get the fertilizer going, we'll need some kind of something to transport slurry. I don't know what all options we have for that. Uh, we got, uh, should have the all-purpose multi-use uh, tankers in here. That might work. If not, then we gotta use the regular Pleasant Valley tankers like we were using before. I'm going to get these last couple of stumps and then I'll go buy one of those uh, tractor things and mower things or whatever and try it out. I need a break from cutting trees anyway. Well, I could buy it. I'll, I could buy it right now and put it out in that farm. It's up to you. I mean, I don't mind either way. You want me to, um, are you guys going to need this tractor for anything? You want me to bring it up there or just leave it down here for um, tree cutting? Yeah, we could probably use it down here because we're going to have to start seeding. And I also still, I'm working with this trailer that uh, Graves keeps coming over to move for me. All right, so I'll bring this up there. That. I'll leave uh, the stump grinder the, and yeah, stump that stuff down there yeah. if you want. I'll put the weight back on it. Sure. Sounds good. Because actually, uh, is that the bigger one? That one might work better with the cedar. I think the little one will go like four mile an hour. That one might do six. You mentioned the other side of the train, and I remember that I didn't get that other log up. I'm just going to leave it there for right now. <laughs> I don't feel like trying to deal with it. So this giant rock down here is cogent, right? Is there like more than one cogent? Because there's two P's. I know 
my coach and was big, I have no idea what's on this map. Cause there's a there's a cogent forest products down here, but there's also up in like the northwest part of the map. There's another P with a U. With storage. All the uh, the board storage is that what you're talking about? The for the board pallets or whatever. Actually, I thought he was going to say P is for pervert when he's talking about you, but I don't know. I, I thought W was for pervert because my name's Wolf. So, which one's the actual cogent and which one's board storage, Draves? Okay, the actual cogents down here, the one in the northwest, is the board storage. All right, cool. Okay, so when you buy P, is, it's going to unlock the glue and the cogent, is that right? Alright, cool. I'm kind of figuring this thing out. when I dropped that log and it was it was literally like six inches from the edge of the thing I was like damn it I was talking about when you were mentioning the letter P one's at the bottom the other one's way up by the racetrack which is depending on what size screen about six inches away unless if you're on an iPhone then it's only that far Away. Yeah, it's like your finger width away. <laughs> I'm looking at a 32 inch TV screen, so it's pretty good ways between points for me. Where's your um? Where's your trailer at? And I'll hook this up to the trailer and leave it connected for you. It's down by me where I'm harvesting half, part way down. Alright, I see it now. Oh my god, this thing looks like something out of the 1940s that a redneck in West Virginia got a hold of or something. Yeah, it's just something I found. I forgot who, somebody, I forgot who made it, but somebody who's on the stream once in a while made it. I, was it done? Maybe it was done. That actually made that a long time ago. But 
but that's actually a real good little vehicle for starting out and doing missions because you got the forklift on the front or you could cut the grass in the back will it actually turn, pick turn. anything up yeah turn should have turned the blade on when you're running through the grass see if that's cuttable grass I think it was parts of it yeah, it looks Might like have it. To lower it I think you got it looks like it is going to do that stuff though it's filling up just, just sitting just here stop. But yeah, just sitting there, just filling it up. But I mean, no. and it fills up ridiculously fast too. Yeah, oh, well, that's yeah. Okay. Where was that uh, grass cell point at? I thought I saw it right here on the farm by the barn or something like that. That, or you could take it down to the BGA and put a load or two in there. That we could start turning the silo. Well, not turning, but get one or two loads in there. Because I don't think it holds that much. Yeah, I didn't. Because usually I have it up to 200,000. But I turn it down for the shot to use. Yeah, I'll dump a couple loads. I mean, I'll just try to try to keep it moving while I'm cutting. Yeah, I don't I don't think we'll want to keep this though if it's gonna do that. That'd be too easy. Yeah. The trout didn't really mind in other maps. It's only the Pleasant Valley when he was trying to do it with more or less with the mods Dave recommended type of setup or not crazy mods, but that was in Ackendorf and that but we didn't really use it. We used a little pro hopper. <laughs> Which he didn't realize, but it held more than the, the trucks did. Yeah, those things are a little nuts. No, th this is the little pro hopper, like from Farming 13. The little tiny one rider sits on top. Of the little tiny square, not the one with the monster tires on it. That's the pro chopper. I don't know if I've seen that one, then. No, it's just a little riding lawnmower, like you'd see around somebody with a, a fair-sized yard, but nothing like a farm. A farm would be way too big for it. But right. it's just a little, you know, the, the seat with the two tires and a little blade in front and a little hopper in the back behind the seat that would tilt up to dump out the grass. Sort of like yeah, I think I, hopper. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. I just don't think I've ever actually seen it, though. I didn't catch well, a lot of trout here, streams. So I think Todd said he uh, it was and and stuff. It out. Yeah, I I just I didn't catch a lot of his streams, which I took a I took a break. I deactivated my Twitch account for like about three weeks there. I just got sick of Twitch and Oh, we all know about that. No big deal. And then Dad had a lot going on and um uh, you know, I just wasn't around during the times he was streaming, so I don't think I ever saw yep. it. All right, so this is the manure changer thing, right? And then this is the fact. Why don't you dump that inside that one load inside that? I think it will take. It might take grass to manure. On some maps, they do. I don't know if this one is or not. Do you try it? Yeah, KW, I didn't play FS13, though. This was the first, uh, was the first farm map I ever played. First farm sim game I ever played. No grass not accepted here. All right. So you got the mixing station, the manure thing, and then here's.
there's the BGA. This thing probably won't even register that I'm putting this in here if it holds like a million. Yeah, it, it looks like somebody peed a little green on the ground. <laughs> They've been drinking antifreeze or something? Yeah. It's like that girl at the, uh, the grocery store I go to. She's got this hair dyed. And it's so freaking weird. She asked me what I thought of one day, and I was like, it looks like a radioactive dog pissed on your head. She started just bawling in front of everybody. I almost felt bad. That learner to ask you questions. One of the other women there that knows me, she was like, she was like, well... Now you know not to ask him unless you want an honest opinion of what it looks like. I was like, yeah, I'm going to tell you exactly what I think. Whether you agree with it or not doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> Yeah, this thing fills up like ridiculously quick. I didn't even make it across that section of field and it was already full. Yeah, that's what it was doing on Hackendorf. But if you take that same lawnmower and put it on Westbridge or Yarn Home or the new map that they put out, it won't do that. So it's the grass texture, not the mod. Yeah. Well, this grass looks different from what was in the last PB map, I think. Yes, no, they've put in some decorations throughout. The yeah, map. but this, I don't, well, it may be where I turn my graphics up, because I, I got my graphics card fixed. That could be why it looks different to me. Because the last time I was playing this, my graphics card, the, uh, little heat sink things on it was coming off and I didn't realize it. Oh, okay. So it was constantly trying to overheat. Yeah, this looks like it's got a lot more like daisies and um, dandelions and shit in it than anything else. So. That's what I was going to say. The white stuff, it, when you're not zoomed in and you see those white spots, they remind me of the dandelions that you hate to see in your yard because that means your whole yard's going to be full of dandelions. So you want to cut them before they get to that white puffy ball stage. But at least you know when you cut the grass when those disappear. See, that's something I absolutely despise, is yard work, grass, and stuff. I, I just seem to have a concrete yard. Like, <clears throat> I guess in some ways it's not too bad because it doesn't go too fast. Like, you know, it only goes about 18 miles an hour. So, you know, it's it's not super, super quick to get this thing going. But no, that, like I said, that was kind of one of my favorite mods. Like when you play something like Yarn Home or Hagenstad, not it, yeah, Hagenstad, because it was small and it worked fine because it cut grass like it normally should. I wonder if there's something I could change in there to slow it down with the new texture of grass. Maybe if I find out the code for that, and somehow 
swap out the one that's in there for the new one. Maybe I could slow it down that way. I've not even thought about trying to do something like that. I might for that one because I like that one. Like I said, it's a good mission vehicle. Doesn't look that good, but it actually does haul and pellets around pretty good. They don't seem to slip off of the forks or bounce off like they do when you use a regular tractor. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not too bad looking or anything. Other than being red, because I'm I'm not a red person. But. That's the only thing. I could probably change that color with no problem. As long as it's not green either, right? Well, if it's a dark green, I don't mind. But the whole John Deere green just kind of, you know, I know it's going to fail then. But unless I could adjust the grass to slow down properly, I'm not going to bother changing. And I leave that to you guys. Go ahead and leave it in. If he I, mind. Yeah. I I don't I don't know about modding. I'm too lazy to get into it. That just seems like way too much work. It doesn't mow a very wide swath, though, I can tell you that. Like, I bet the swath yeah, well, on this thing's like half. Hang over the, the side, does it? Really, no. very much. It doesn't go beyond the tire, so it's more realistic that way. Yeah, it doesn't even go beyond the front tires, much less the back ones, which are a little wider. But I'd say it's probably half the size of the, uh, the standard in-game mower. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree with that front bar, the front one, yeah. It's much smaller than that. I guess I should deposit this money into my bank just in case something happens. I want to lose twelve thousand dollars. <throat> I mean, I guess it'll be up to Trout whether he wants to leave this in. I don't know how... I, I don't know what kind of... Whether he's going to go for kind of a realistic thing on this or not. As long as he doesn't put his harvester in that does, like, the whole field one swath or swipe and 120 mile an hour, at least for actually doing the work. If he's going to put it in the goof around and... It's different, but because uh, he was using it to jump the lake, somewhere over there, there's a jump, and he is it. I can't remember if he made it all the way across. He came close a couple times. He might have made it all the way across with the harvester, jumping the lake. That's insane, <laughs> jumping the lake with a harvester. <laughs> No, I don't think I've ever seen the lake jump. Actually, wasn't that in when you when you had him test it out when you put popcorn settings and hit it or whatever? I seem to remember him trying that in the race car. I, I don't remember him trying it in the harvester, but I do seem to remember him trying it in the... Uh, in uh, like Big Daddy's race car thing or whatever. No, 
might be the same day. It might have been later on that night. Or maybe it was earlier. Maybe it was before he got it. But I think he didn't. He might have had like six harvesters that he bought on the map. Because he kept on not quite making it. I don't. I remember him trying to jump a lake, but I don't remember if it was that or not. I don't know. My memory is so shockingly bad; it's not even funny. Yeah, he did have issues trying to make it up to the ramp. He kept on kind of losing the road and hitting a tree on the way there. And that's nothing new with trout. <laughs> I still remember the night he got the tractor and trailer, or the, the truck and trailer stuck in the treetop. Of course, I also remember the night we spent like an hour trying to get Coop's truck straightened out after I knocked the crap out of it. We were all laughing so hard our sides hurt, couldn't breathe that night. That shit was funny. The only thing that I can say that I'm not really enjoying about this is um, there's some kind of light or something on the back of this. It's flashing. It's weird. Like it's just now and then. On top of the tractor? No, it's like a it's like a, a an effect, but it's like it's like a light on the ground right behind the tractor. And it's kind of oh, weird. Oh, the license plate? No, it's almost like the backup lights are coming on when I'm like dumping. Oh, okay. No, I'm watching you drive around, I see. It looks like a plate or something from dangling. Yeah, that distance. license plate's flickering, but it's, I don't know how to explain. Oh, I see. The, yeah, I saw the white on the ground. It could be the reverse lights. I don't remember if Master was in that night, Draves. Like, I know there's a their YouTube video of it somewhere trout uploaded where yeah. Coop went AFK and he had a harvester on the back of a a loader trailer and I took my truck and just like rammed him and then we proceeded to screw around for the next hour getting everything on the map stuck pretty much Yeah, I really couldn't find it either, but I did already previously download or record that. Because I think it was in his uh, highlights. And it's in that uh, highlights Trout Driving video or whatever on YouTube. Right, the one I made for Trout. Yeah, it's part of it's in there, I think. Yeah, I think I might have the whole thing. Because after Cause we got Coop unstuck, we... Uh, we like Coop went around the corner and made it 15 feet and ran into a tree. So I decided to help him get unstuck and then kind of maybe pushed him into the river at that point. <laughs> yeah, and that might not have happened if Trot didn't stick the pipe and unfold the header while he was driving up the hill. That was funny. Coop's like going up the hill and Trout just like. Pushes the pipe out and unfolds the header and keeps like, oh shit. And then he jumps out. <laughs> so no one's in the vehicle while he's driving and it's unfolding. We had fun that night. That was that was one of the most fun nights I've had playing with Trout and Coop and them.
I don't know. I mean, really, after I've after I've done this now, if you didn't just sit there and let the thing fill up, I don't think this thing's too bad. Oh, I, I pretty much agree with you because I don't have volume up on that very much. I think it's only supposed to hold closer to 600, so I doubled it. But if I had it like I had in the little pro hopper thing, I had that up to 50,000, so it held almost more than the semis would hold. But yet it was smaller than that box on the back of that uh, tractor you're driving. I don't know if it's filling up on this grass too or not, Traves. Let me check. It doesn't look like it's filling up on this like short cut off grass or whatever. It's just working on the the um, daisy grass or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I don't think it has texture grass on that. It's more or less the, the paint, the green paint for the ground. But I'm pretty sure if I set it here where I've already mowed it oh, would yeah. just fill. Yeah, it, it just fills even where I've already mowed. So, I mean, I guess with this filling up, well, not filling up, but putting some into the BGA, um, I guess we're going to need, like I said, something to, uh, something to transport slurry and something to unload the, the silage. I guess, like you said, you could just use a conveyor or whatever. Correct. A conveyor, as long as we have a tipper that's available and not being used. But yeah, the conveyor would probably be, instead of working on the front loader, I think about a conveyor. And actually, the conveyor can work in the quarry, but we need to kind of get a regular quarry front loader for LJ. He's not going to want to use, I don't think he's going to want a conveyor. Probably not. Would a conveyor be able to put the silage into... So what, what you would do is put the conveyor down, put silage into a tipper, and then move the conveyor and put the... No, you put the conveyor would attach, not to the front of that tractor, but on a regular three-point, the one, the one that we have, or I think we have the telehandler. Uh, attacher conveyors but you know you got the weight on the front of a tractor you put the conveyor on that and you pull the trailer behind and you'll pick up the stuff in front and dump it in the trailer behind you but how would you get it into the thing to sell it oh up on top oh that's different I, I was just thinking of moving it um, did, there's couple ways you might be able to try that but uh, the easiest way would be a front loader um, if you have placeable heaps you could go ahead and put a placeable heap right next to the place where you would the machine that would convert the silage to the slurry and mash it up and where you get paid and then you hook the conveyor you lay, leave the conveyor lay on the ground right where that uh, heap would be dumped and then it'll transport it in the machine but I don't think this conveyor that uh, he has will do that I don't think I think it has to have a set drop point this one doesn't have 
the set drop point, it has to wait for a machine that has a trigger in it to drop it into. So we'll probably need some kind of front loader then? So yeah, we will need a front loader for that part, yes. But we also need the silage for the mixed rations. And you can use silage also instead of slurry for fertilizer, I believe. But it works better when you sell the silage and you use the slurry. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, sell the, sell the silage, use the slurry to make fertilizer, at least to start. Then once you get some fertilizer going, get some wheat going or whatever to to do the fertilizer with after that you could start selling this lorry for money hello Hanzuli and hi Dustin how are you sir Oh look, my stalker unfollowed. glad to see me and not playing Rust. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't want to see me playing Rust. That game pisses me off. And you can't see him. He doesn't have a face cam on. Well, it's kind of seeming to not work right now. I would, I would be too lazy to move it back and forth anyway. Especially the way I had to mount it to do the woodworking stuff. around and then when she's cutting something you could see her almost her view of her cutting something so probably like but a that GoPro was with a wireless camera yeah I thought about getting something like that some kind of GoPro or something and having it mounted like on my on my chest or on my head or something so you can see my point of view that or a baby monitor with the camera because aren't those wireless all you have I to have know. is like a little pack <laughs> and I think you can log into the computer and view it so it's halfway there a GoPro you'd have to set up to be wireless or you could have just a, a wire like down your leg and on the floor and try not to trip over the wire I guess that would be a pain in the ass I'd have to have some kind of wireless the other thing I was thinking about was trying to trying to get something and make a, a mount to come off the wall near where I'm doing it so that it would hang above and just have a downward view True, that could work. But I don't know. I'm going to have to look and see how much webcams cost because I'm betting I'm not going to be able to fix that one. So I'm probably going to have to buy a new one. And I, I got a little bit of money, but I don't know how much it's going to run me. But yeah, I know what you mean, Dustin. It's, you know, I don't mind big tits, but, like, 
when I want to watch a game, I generally want to watch a game. I don't really want to watch, like, you know, a third of a screen of the game and the rest of it. Some stupid chick that can't play the game to begin with. The thing is now, I think a lot of the, the chicks that just want to show off their tits are going to creative streams and just doing like, you know, drawings that look like a 10 year old drew them. And then they've got an excuse to show their tits because, you know. Because there was some chick drawing yesterday. Um. And I mean, you know, she was really damn good looking. Blonde, blue eyes, big tits, really, really nice face. But I can draw better than her. And I can't draw a straight line with a freaking ruler and two people to help me. So that should tell you how much drawing ability she had. But she had like 700 people watching her. Yeah, maybe if there weren't those midget horrors that you had helping you you been well, you know. might have been able to concentrate on that line a little bit well you know hookers rather, midget I'd, hookers that's what I'd rather say. I'd rather have the midget hookers than to have straight lines so it's okay with me <laughs> I actually got a call from my cousin yesterday, I think it was. Well, it's not my cousin. It's my cousin's wife. And she wants to set me up. One of her friends just got divorced. And I'm like, no. She's got like four kids. I'm like, hell no. There's not enough duct tape in the world. I mean, this is going, I don't think this is going any faster than it would with a front mower and one of the, you know, forage wagons, really. I've got about 180k in there since I started, so. I think I would have used more ground, more of the grass on the ground to get that much, but. Yeah. No, I agree with you. It's not really that bad as long as you don't take advantage of it. Like, park by the cell point for grass and just run the blade. And then when it fills up, you unload, run the blade if you did it that way. But you're driving. And I, I didn't even notice that the first time, you know, that if you came to a stop, it kept on filling. Cause it, but actually, I think in Ackendorf, when I tried it, I only went like three lengths of that tractor and it was full and I even increased the volume to 20,000 uh, liters and then I got another like length of the tractor and that's it but that one's turned down to uh, 1200 yeah 12,000 12,000 Wow, I've lost five followers tonight. I guess I guess people don't like. Well, okay, two of those don't count because one of them's the stalker that now hates me, and her, you know, half-ass boyfriend or whatever. But I've lost three other followers tonight just since I started streaming. <laughs> I'll be back below five hundred before you know it, guys.
Oh well, I find such things amusing. So. Yeah, my Twitch page. If I ever stream on my, uh, what do you call it, the uh, overlay, it says I don't care if you follow me or not on here so I have no bots so I can't tell if you're following me or not and I don't care I don't plan on being a big streamer and I, stream I don't one, either maybe once a month I just find such things amusing so I like to be able to see what's going on but I don't really care like you know I just find it amusing because like I've hovered around 5 520 for like a year now and everybody's like if you wouldn't be such an asshole and cuss people out and ban them and stuff you'd have like a thousand more followers or whatever and I'm like I don't give a shit <laughs> I stream when I want to stream and if I don't want to stream you can all go watch somebody else I don't care Draves is here for the banning. <laughs> Draves just loves to watch me cuss people out, though. Trout hates it, because it seems like everybody I cuss out is somebody that goes to Trout Stream, too. And then they go to Trout Stream, and they're like, Why did you cuss me out and ban me, man? Why well, didn't do anything? Why Why did you ban me? What did I do wrong? I almost used to feel bad for Trout. Good times. Oh man, when I what was that guy's name? Hillbilly something. Jedi. Yeah, something like that. That was with uh, your other buddy. Yeah, it was like holy crap, dude. He went straight from my... I was streaming that night. And I was streaming something else. And Trout was streaming that night. And he went straight from my stream to Trout's stream. Started complaining about me. <laughs> Hello, John. How you been? I haven't seen you in a long time. Yeah, I've got all kinds of high rollers in here, John. I got KW and Draves and Getter and like Dustin. I got all these high rollers in here, and I, I don't know why they're in here. I know why Draves is here. Draves is here to wait to see if someone pisses me off so that he can get some amusement out of me going ballistic over something. I'm here because of the person who wants to serve. And Getter's here because he's just, he's a cool laid back guy and he just, you know, he wants to see what I'm screwing up in the server because he's in here with me. I'm trying to figure out who you're going to pick on next because Master's not around. I think, uh, Oh, I know my next target, but. I'm sure Mr. Chicken Chip won't have the guts to stay around and give me a chance. Well, somebody who lurks in our team speak all the day long until Trout comes on? Yeah. And then as soon as I joined, he left. <laughs> Join more often, please. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, I know a lot of you don't but care much more for him than I do, so... No, the thing is, is he comes into team speak and then he batters Trout when he's streaming. He doesn't come into the server to do any work. Well, yeah, he's always done that. Like, he tried, the whole purpose of him latching on to Trout was him trying to piggyback viewers and followers off of Trout. Because he would only stream when Trout was streaming, and then he would go in Trout stream and try to get, like, Trout or KW to set up a multi-stream. Hoping that people would come follow him. Yeah, 
like I said, it's just like when Dave started streaming, all of a sudden these guys that I've never heard of, that knew Dave back when he was a farm in 13, they started showing up and showing up to join the server on the days only and during the hour only when Dave would be streaming Pleasant Valley. Yeah, Dave and then, then as soon as he ended in the stream, they'd be gone. Yeah, halfway through, they and they started, you know, following him around. He'd be driving down the road, going to show, you know, where to sell the eggs. These guys would be driving right beside him, and they'd be lagging him down, and he couldn't even drive. But they don't understand that, you know. You got to be away. They didn't the care. Place. They wanted. They wanted the attention. They wanted their girlfriends to see him on the screen. See, that's me. But oh well. Girl master, I. I could care less if you try. I mean, if you want to, uh, if you want to push those buttons, you know, I've got the more powerful one. I think KW hangs out in here because he knows he doesn't have to moderate my stream because there's no need to moderate my stream because, you know, what the hell is someone going to say that I'm not going to say? With you, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's like if. if KW actually tried to moderate my stream. The entirety of him moderating my stream would be him trying to moderate me. <laughs> KW would spend all his time in here going, Wolf, maybe you shouldn't say that. Come on, man. Like, you never know. I mean, you know. I mean, you know, if I'm willing to try to ban a Twitch admin, I'll ban anybody else. I mean, <laughs> I don't care. I still get a chuckle out of that night. I think I banned something like 35 people that night. I think a lot of people are like that in my stream, John. Like, there's a lot of people that go into other streams and you see them talking all the time. And then they come into my stream and they don't say anything. I think they're kind of worried that I'm just going to ban them. I usually don't. Like, I usually don't care, you know. But then I just have those days where, like, I, I don't care. Like, just the way you spell your name might piss me off if you come in the wrong day. make a mission out of cutting grass yeah well they have it in Bjorn home and those other ones Dave didn't put it in his because he had too many other things going I guess or he just didn't put it in yeah you could always put some like some houses and and put like a fence around a certain plot of land and make it a mission to cut the old lady's yard or whatever you know Yeah, like in Bjorn home. Uh, well, actually, on Pleasant Valley, I think like where the campground was, you could have uh, made a mission in that area where you cut the grass in just a square, you know, and supposedly it was a mission to help the campers out, you know, type of thing. Or yeah, the that probably course, worked. One of the, I forgot which one the golf course was. That might have been... Uh, Egan's dead.
Oh, but come on, Kato. Another way to get the, you know, the people that are starting out fresh, just a few extra thousand to help pay for something if they have a lawnmower. Yeah. Now, KW, you know the real reason you come in here is for your welcome message in my stream. I have been thinking about it, though, with, with the... Um, with the woodworking stuff, I may end up having to find somebody to mod because, like, I won't be able to really do very much moderating of my own channel while I'm woodworking. I can't really even keep up with chat while I'm doing it. Ollie he used to make me chuckle when he he'd have a troll come into his stream. <laughs> I think he crashed his computer out of the game yesterday. He was doing something, and uh, it was lagging on him. I can't remember. KW was there. I think he might have been there after. But when he reset the server and jumped back in the game, all of his vehicles were missing. Uh oh. And they just got done making nearly three million dollars, spent nearly two million dollars on the new machinery. Then somebody suggested because they were having a, a little bit of a lag issue or something wasn't quite functioning properly, they decided to reset the server. Whoops. So much for that game. He had a chrome trailers moment, huh? I missed it, but I'm pretty sure I know what you're talking about, and it probably is something just like that. They're on American farms. I think he's one of the ones. I lost a bunch of people when I, uh... I don't know if it was because I deactivated my account or what. When I came back, I, was, I wasn't following anybody. Like, I lost all the people that I had been following. I think it happened mostly when you de deactivated. But, uh, even Drow was saying that you, uh, deleted your account. Or that's what he thought when you first did it. So, possibly, when you deactivated, all the followers got wiped out. Yeah, it was like everybody that I followed, like Trout, when I uh, when I came back and I saw Trout streaming one night, I checked and I wasn't following him, according to Twitch, and I was like, okay, well, whatever. And then I started looking, and all my like followers were gone. I had to refollow everybody pretty much. Start baking. What are you baking, Dustin? You know I'm always hungry. Yeah, KW, they had some money there, but they just got done making, they said, $3 million. And if you looked at the vehicle expenses, $2 million were gone with vehicle expenses that they bought. So he had $1 million something left. But he had absolutely no vehicles on the map, so that's why I'm saying that's where he lost the money. He just bought the vehicles, and then the vehicles disappeared. Ah, uh, so they still had some money that they hadn't spent, but 
Oh yeah, they had over they lost a million. A ton. But earlier that day, they had three million. Fresh bread in the morning. Oh, you're making bread again. I could do without that. Well, I don't, I don't know. A good homemade bread's pretty good. Like, the stuff you get at the store sucks most of the time. Draves has been baking all night. I, I don't think you're talking about the same kind of baking he is, are you, Draves? <laughs> I think that's a whole other subject. Well, Dustin, you enjoy your baking, sir. I'm probably going to uh, take a break here in a bit. Maybe another 15, 20 minutes. Probably in the stream for a while. I'm going to have to find some food here in a little bit. I'm just going to look and see how much I had in this thing now. 300,000. Yeah, see so if you compact it to uh, get it to... Or is it over... What does it have to be over? Like 11%? Then you can compact it. And cover yeah, it. something like that. I don't know. I didn't pay attention to it. I think it has to be over 10. Yeah, I think it's got to be over 10. It's 30%, so... Alright. I have to have something else to compact this thing, probably, though. I don't know if this thing would work to compact very well. Let's let's take a look. Well, we should have uh, the most wanted mod in here. The comp, uh, silage compactor works really good. I don't know the price of it, but I, it's a mod. It might be real, relatively cheap. Yeah, it's not like as cheap as that line, or percent per run, probably. Is that what this is? The diesel compactor. It's twenty-four thousand dollars, and it's under miscellaneous. You pass it up to Orange. That's. Oh, that, looks that one you don't even have, you probably won't even make it across there one time and it'll compress it. I'm just trying to figure out what we should buy. I mean, like, like I said, I think we need. Something to haul the slurry in and some kind of front loader to do the to do the silage with. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure if those uh, all purpose tankers that he has in here will work on these triggers. I think they will. Especially the slurry type. Now uh, how Dave had it set up for the milk and uh Borden's type setup, maybe milk might not work there for those. I'm not sure. But I think the slurry would work okay in here. The, I'm not sure how much those are either. Let me see. I know the standard ones. You can buy a cheap one for like... Well, this is 25000 for 10000 Pull, uh, let me see how many... 10,000 liters for the small one, which is close to the size, I think, of the standard one. Yeah, I think the standard one's 8,000. I mean, you could just buy one of the, the um, AR style ones and buy a trailer. Yeah. I have 61,000. I 
don't know if you want to spend it on that or not. Uh, if that's what you guys want, yeah, no problem. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we're not going to need it for what? Um, Until we cover that in uh, half a day at least. Right. And we get a front loader or something to put uh, silage into the machine. Yeah, we need some kind of front loader that'll be decent for the silage and for starting LJ in the quarry, probably. Well, actually, just a small until I end work for the PGA until we get something big for LJ in the quarry. Do we have to, is the quarry unlocked on this or is it locked? Do we have no, to buy it? We, we gotta buy it. And that's what, 100000 I haven't looked at the prices, but you probably could be right. I think that's that's what it was before, I think. So it might be a little while before, which I mean, I've got like 300,000 in here. That's quite a bit of silage. Like, I don't know how much we'll make off of that. 150, 200,000 maybe on hard mode. I don't know. Depends on how many people are also in on the map. Yeah, that's true. And being we're coming back to this to Pleasant Valley style map, maybe uh, LJ and Coop and everybody else will start coming in more often. But it's just basically me and LJ. I mean uh, Coop playing the other maps. Yeah, I couldn't get into the other maps that much. Like, that's the reason I, I tried to get Trout to put. Uh, I wanted Iron Horse. If he'd put Iron Horse on, I'd been there, like playing like crazy. Oh, I think. Oh, well, I know I would be too. And B B D A B A whatever the hell your name is. I'm not even trying. Uh, yeah, I've used one of those before but I don't really care for them too much. Yeah, we just gotta find out how much Trout wants to be this realistic, or does he want to goof around? on this map. I think he wants to do it somewhat realistic. You know, not put his harvester in there that does the whole field at one swipe type of thing. Yeah. I wouldn't mind but, having the big harvesters, you know, but, like, because these are big-ass fields. Yeah, well, we got the Pleasant Valley harvesters in here that will do the 11 mile an hour with the bigger header. Not the super humongous headers that Again, do the whole field, but you put those in the back, so and they're in here already. If you look under the modded harvesters, the viable ones, the last four at the end are yeah, from the cat like Valley. Yeah, but you gotta when you buy them, you gotta look at the capacity when you click on it because one has a standard capacity, and the other one will have, I think, 60,000 or something 60, like that. Yeah, 60,000 on them. Yeah. On the high capacity ones. Just depends on which way he wants to go with it. Correct, but they're both in here at the same mod. Just, yeah, you're looking at them. And with the header, I believe you got to get, you aim for the biggest header that's in the pack. Again, they're colorable or dieable, and that has the speed increased. Did he ever get the ones? That are like um, the corn headers that are faster. Yeah, he put in the ones that I adjusted up to 11. Is that the new Holland one? Yeah. Although the green ones that you're looking at, uh, the Lexon cat ones, uh, those are corn headers, right? I think maybe those are faster or just as fast. 
I think those, those are, are round regular, feathers. Regular. Yeah. Those are just, yeah. Then it would be the new hound, but the bigger one. The little one I didn't touch. Of the corn, the yellow one. Yeah, I mean, we'll just have to, you know, kind of... I guess we can wait until Trout decides what he wants to do. You know, if he's going to stream tomorrow, we can just wait till tomorrow and... Uh, and, you know, figure out what we need then. Uh, yeah, but I think you're aware of Trout's buying problem. <laughs> yeah. Anytime there's money on the server, it's gone. Even though I was always an admin, so all my money went in there. I was always broke at the end of the day he streamed. Yeah, Trout has always had the, uh, the I am more female than male issue. I like to spend money as fast as it comes in. Yeah, I want to try this fire truck out. Oh, don't we need to, yeah, let's buy a new beet harvester on the field that oh, God. goes $2,000. It costs us a half a million to buy. And then we got to buy the field after that so we could plant something else on it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Trout was always like that. Oh, I used to always try to spend the money before he did. He'd come in and be like, what? We had money, and I'm like, yeah, I bought the stuff we actually need to have and use. <laughs> and no, John, this is uh, this is Pleasant Valley, but this is Pleasant Valley reimagined by G.U. Draves. And uh, I think he called it, what was it, Hemp Valley? Something like that, yeah. And he kind of redesigned it moved a lot of stuff around added some some stuff into different places and things and uh i'm really I'll liking this if you can for him. oh okay you did yeah Never i got mind. it popped up there's trees all around the outside except for where the big lake is up in the corner and i think he said there was twenty five thousand trees on here I want to. I want to say that's the quote he gave was twenty five thousand cuttable trees. I'm really. Um, I, I really got to hand it to Draves. I'm. I'm pretty impressed with this redo. I think it's. I think oh, it's pretty so damn good. I. Something I wouldn't be able to do. Oh, I would. I would never be able to. I wouldn't have the patience to do all this. Like all those letters that pop up when you show the map, those wouldn't be on here. Yeah, you had to make a new map thing and everything. Like, so. I mean, I know Dave had those classes and showed how to do a lot of stuff, but. Oh, God. I just don't have the patience for it. Like, I would have got pissed off about a fifth of the way through this if I made it that far and just been like, nope, I'm done. Yeah, after the first giant trees, you probably would have given up. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine how long it took him to sit there. Because you can see the trees are, like, planted, spaced out and everything. How long did it take him to do that? Like, I don't even want to plant trees in-game, much less, like, to design a map with them. Yeah, KW, I can't wait. I, I want to find... I uh, There was a four-wheeler that I had that was actually really fun. can't remember the name of it, but... Uh, I'd like to find one of those just to be able to run around the, the trail with. That'd be fun. I don't know if Trout's got any four-wheelers or anything like that. I know he's got the go-karts, but I don't know how well I would do with a go-kart. Uh, you could try the Blazer, the Blazer. Well, actually... The pickup truck, the if he has a '66 pickup truck with the, you know for the eggs, that one runs really smooth and lands nice and drives real nice. Uh, the Blazer 
is probably second place. Then uh, I'd have to say I'd, I'd probably pick up good. a K five Blazer. To be honest, I like the I like the old body style Blazers. Yeah, I used to have one of those. If you can, don't buy one in brown because I'm going to buy one in brown. That's the one I. That looks just like my real blazer I used to have back in the 80s. Mine was primered, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, mine was a little bit darker brown than they have in here, but I had the black tinted windows, the black cap, the mirrors real similar to what they have on here, the bumper. Now, I had a bumper uh, push bar on the front that my brother made out of some very heavy metal pipe that I could run into a semi with and it probably damaged the semi before it damaged that bar. It probably bend your frame. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, the one I had, I bought from a guy. Um, I, I, I can't remember when it was. Mid-90s was when I owned it. But... Uh, it was just for off-roading. Like, it had big mud boggers on it. Uh, it had 40-inch 40, 40 mud boggers. And it was lifted. It had a... I want to say a 4-inch suspension lift and a 3-inch body lift. And it was completely impractical for anything other than just going out in the freaking woods and, and beating the shit out of it. But it was primer gray and... Um, I think it had a black cap and one seat, no other seat. The uh, he had made a cooler spot where the passenger seat was supposed to be, and he had basically made a you know how old battery trays were. He had made a a battery tray almost for a cooler to sit in and strap down into. Oh, mine had a console in it that was pretty much insulated. I could have just dropped a bag of ice in the console and dropped in the six pack and all this the right there. This thing had like no interior, no carpet, um, no carpet, no headliner, one seat, no dash. Uh, you know the dash cover that went over the top of the dash, the padding thing. None of that. Um, I think it had three maybe three gauges and the only one that worked was the uh was the tack speedo didn't work nothing else worked none of the none of the sensors worked nothing it was just it was it was a purely take me out into the woods and beat me to death truck that was it And it got it got beat up pretty good. The funny thing was, I would take my Volkswagen. I had a Volkswagen Beetle as well at the time, and I would take that thing places that I wouldn't take the Blazer because with the Beetle, if I got stuck, like you could literally get out and take the rear bumper and pick the ass end up and set it over, take the front bumper and pick the front end over and set it up, and you know. It was nothing to move that thing. But that blazer, it was so big and wide and everything, you know. Going on a lot of the trails was a real pain in the ass. Speaking of VWs, back in the 60s when I was in grade school, one of our teachers came to school with the Volkswagen. And it was, I think during the blizzard of 67 we were in grade school like fourth grade I think me and this other guy decided we weren't going to try and pick up the Volkswagen but by the back bumper and we lifted it up and the tires you know because of the transaxle type setup or whatever they call it on a Volkswagen tilted them in we thought we broke the car and we took off running <laughs> <laughs> because the tire, both tires are pointed in and the back bumper is like, you know, an extra foot and a half off the ground. We thought we broke it. Yeah, those are, uh, those early Volkswagens for something else, though. 
the one I had, somebody got a hold of it before I got it. They they must have blown the motor. And they had an old Porsche air cooled motor that they had put in there. That little so much would fly. I mean it didn't look like much, but that thing would fly. Uh four speed on the floor, it was a seventy seventy three and the speedo read a hundred and it would bury the speedo in third gear and once you got above like 100 105 the whole car would just vibrate and feel like it was going to fall to pieces but i surprised many a unsuspecting little you know mustang and camaro with that thing because you know you look at it and you go it's a volkswagen but with that little air cooled Porsche motor in it, dude, that little so much would fly out, fly. And I was looking to see if we should buy a different corn header instead of this little tiny couple row. Is there one that will even fit that harvester? Oh, they should be all universal but the thing is is they fold up so when it comes time to unload you just hit the v bu the x button to fold it and then you can pull up right beside yeah well, that's true the only thing is i'm trying to figure out if the standard which one's bigger the standard one that's twenty eight thousand. that's four and a half meters the one we start with is three meters, I think, right? But the other one, I guess that would be the same one. They're both 28. The is New it? Island, the short one. Cause, but I don't know if I want to spend that on that. Cause if I go to the big one, which would work, but then I'd be empty out every you know 20 feet or so which is fine with me it's just it's too expensive yeah take care kw man you have a good night thanks for hanging out good night, you enjoy your uh data processing time we know you don't really sleep we know you just like go into a, a semi-sleep mode to process all the data you've taken on us humans I still, I can't help it. I still picture KW as that picture that I found of the old man in the Matrix sitting there with like 80,000 computer screens around him. Uh, yeah. I don't know how he keeps up with as many streams as he does. Like, I, I can have three or four streams up but like I can't keep up with them. I can't keep up with the chat and I can't keep up with the actual streams oh I agree I have no clue how he does it and I can't come anywhere near it so I'm not even going to try Yeah, I think I'll just get the next size up because this header is going to be too small. I mean, four. How much will you get for selling that one? I mean, I don't know. I was going to drop it in the boxes. I figured maybe 10000 loss. I mean, if I don't like the other header, but that other one is just way too far out of the ballpark for now. Forty, what was it, forty-five thousand, something like that, for the bigger one. That's just way too much. I think the next size would be fine, and we'll see. Well, yeah, I'll I'll make that up soon. I'll work on it. Yeah, I, I mean, don't harvest it for, wouldn't be too bad. A little rose at a time. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the six R, not the twelve R. Six R, six row. 
Yeah, John, this little uh this little mower thing's kinda growing on me too. The only thing I don't like about it is that backup light. That thing's kind of annoying. When no, I can't take that out. When you're going down the, like, the little, you know, the pow, and you start to hit the backup light, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Words are hard. They exist somewhere in my mind, but I'm not sure where. Oh no! Just saw the stupid harvester. He was in the box too close. And didn't oh, pay yeah. attention. I thought it showed the header. <laughs> you sold it the harvester? The, yeah. It's oh the shit. Headers <laughs> laying here on the ground, but yet <laughs> in the picture I saw the header. I hate it's, when it does that. I hate when you've got two things in there and it shows one, but you're actually selling the other one. Yeah, I thought I had it far enough. Oh, well. I was wondering why I just got 21K. <laughs> that was definitely an oops. Yeah, can we even afford an upgraded harvester? Well, we got the John Deere in here for 156,000. Yeah, that I have would 82. That would probably work. Does anybody have any money? How about if I send it off to you loan? Everybody send their money to loan. I've got 83, so, I mean, if you sell the header, and then we buy... I'm not going to sell the header until we find out if we have... Because it only gave us $10,000. I got 21 right. for you selling you that 21? thing. Because I had mine oh, put up. Because it only showed $10,000, 10800 or something like that. So it, it sold for probably about sixty. Seventy something thousand, because a header for for that thing's only like ten thousand. The regular header. Well, yeah, but we need the corn header. To and we would need. Stupid corn. I I mean I don't know if you guys want to. I can send you the money or send it to him. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I got yours. Hundred. I got one hundred sixty-seven thousand now. Oh, that's more than plenty. Then we go get both the, the John Deere and the bigger header. But how do you send it to the bank? Would it be easier for me to send you the money? Well, I just bought the John Deere, the, the thing, so. And I've got 11K. So I guess we're getting an upgraded harvester instead of anything else. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. No, nah, it's no problem. Stuff happens, you know. I mean, that's just the way it is. This game's still got some little issues like that that, you know, can trip you up sometimes. I mean, well, if you sold the other one, I would. Well, I guess you've still got your money, don't you? Could you buy the yeah, header? Yeah, still have the eighty-two, and I got the little header over here, and it won't make any sense the little header on that harvester. But we do. I mean, I, the I'm regular. The bigger. Yeah, I was gonna see what the bigger regular round header is before I. Make a decision. It's only 10k for the John Deere. The John Deere 625F is seven meters, and it's only nine thousand eight hundred dollars. The uh, the modded header for that John Deere. Yeah, but if we spend 
50,000 for the 18 cat Lexan cutter, you could do 11 miles an hour, I think. Or is that just, yeah, maybe not. Now, yeah, we'll go with what you suggest with the John Deere. And then I'll get the other cutter, or the corn cutter, the small, medium sized one. I'm trying to get this thing to 400,000, then I'm going to try to. Could you bank your money? Yeah, I banked mine. Because I'll turn accounts off for a minute. All right. Draves, you got, oh, you already sent your money. I'd say we could look at getting a cedar. It depends on what Trout's going to do about... I don't know if he's going to try to fix the thing where we own all these fields or just keep them or what. Yep, that header sold for what that same picture. $10,800. For the header, but the harvester, well, it's still gone, but the John Deere's around the corner. Yeah, you gotta love those little, little issues that trip you up sometimes. But yeah, I mean, if we could buy the corn header and the regular header for that John Deere, it would probably help out with harvesting a lot. Still, this tractor and trailer for a minute to see if we can uh, yeah, I compact need to this. Get out anyways before I start the corn. Where's the uh, where's the silo? Is that on the farm, but uh, on your right hand side as you're pulling in from where you're at. Those are for grass and the straw, the barn, or the overhang. Look for the towers going up. Okay, I think I see him. I was wondering what that was. It was a car the washer car thing. Wash, yeah. I was like, I was like, what is this? I'm just gonna drive through and check it out. It's a car wash. Farmingo, Amos, Amos, something. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. this down and see if I can compact the uh, stuff with this real quick. This trailer looks sufficiently heavy. That or fill it up with grain and then run it over. That should be extra weight. Yeah, I just dumped it. Oh well. I think it was already, it's already at about 65%. I don't think it'll take long to compact it.
I notice he's added quite a few more cedars in. Yeah, the only one I would go for is either the little Pronto or the big John Deere with the two yellow boxes in the back. That other one I think only seeds two crops. And the one that's hooked up the vehicle does the cultivating and planting at one time but it won't fertilize so it doesn't do all three just seeding and uh, cultivating it'll probably be a little while before we can afford to uh, buy either one, any one of those I guess well that and well the the lumpkin or whatever that one the blue thing that one's not worth it it's good for small fields and if you wanted to goof around, but it does a smaller area than a, a decent cedar. We don't really have a tractor that could run a bother stud, so. No, we got uh, 38,000 in the server right now after my mis goof up. Yeah, such things happen. It's nice to have a little bit bigger harvester anyway, even if it is, you know, cute green. Thank God it's not real life. It won't die every time you turn the key. I don't know, you haven't jumped in it yet. You want to jump in and see if... <laughs> no, I better stay away. I would be the curse that would make it would make it die just because I like to talk so much shit about John Deere's. I don't know. But I'm I'm the same way with Fords. Like I know a lot of people that have had Fords and they've had them for years and they work perfect and fine and I can't get one to last more than twenty minutes with me. Every Ford I've ever, like, been in, even when I worked at the power company, we had a brand new uh, F450, um, was it like a service bed and, and everything. We had that thing a week when they sent it to us, and the turbo blew up on it. They sent it back, the, um, the fuel pump on it died. Like, we just kept having to send that thing back over and over and over and over. And the other ones that they had sent out to the other areas worked fine. But the one they sent me constantly died. side of the mistake uh, we could harvest corn at 11 miles an hour nice this should hold more than a little thing so uh, actually the, as far as harvesters we're set until we really start making money other than we could get the bigger fast head later on the round head but that's not a rush yeah Crap, if you're going to be cutting corn that fast, I'm going to have to bring this tractor back up to you pretty quick, aren't I? I just, yeah, well. I, I, did, I didn't leave the trailer. The I brought and the it's 34%. Well, I'm at about Although 80%. I can't oh, you're just tra tromping it down. Yeah, take your time. That, that harvester should hold us, like you said, for quite a while. Especially with an 11 mile an hour corn header on it, that's fine. Yeah, until the truck comes in, and if we have any extra money, it'll be, it could be gone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because those Pleasant Valley ones are really, real nice, too. And they're colorable, so they don't have to be green. 
Yeah, I was going to say we're probably going to have to focus on some fuel pretty yeah, quick. Yeah, all the corn could go to fuel as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Unless if you want to get the mulching head, but we don't have the big X, so that'd be a waste. Not mulching, chaffing head. Yeah, I figure that'll be something we get down the line. I wonder if this will unload if I drive it over the grate or dump it. I'm finding out in a minute. Nope. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think it will, but you never can tell with mods. I'm at uh, 97%, so a couple more passes, and this will be... Yeah, no problem. This will be done, and I can bring it back up there. No sense driving back and forth, you know, just to unload me. I could wait, because otherwise, if I was in the other little guy, I'd... Still be trying to make it across the first row. I won't be halfway through my th third row. I think it is. Yeah, third row. Yeah. Well, that's compacted and covered. So. Yeah, I see that. Cool. As soon as I figure out how to get the hell out of this like maze of assembly area, Graves is made here. <laughs> He's got fences around everything down here, and it's like, ah, God. Yeah, why don't we hold on to that little lawn mark, because I could also cut some grass. Like I said, as long as it's moving, it's semi-realistic. Uh, put a couple things in the mixed ration machine. I don't know if there is such a thing as trout proof, Draves. Don't don't tempt fate. Yeah, Eckendorf, he, he rolled over a, a fence that nobody else could drive over. He, he found a way to get out of it. Oh, he'll he'll find a way. Like if you tell him he can't get in there, he will go down there and hit that manure dump spot and ramp off of it over the fence into the cow area. I guarantee it. I've already considered it. So. Right. The thing is, is, you don't have to tease him. You, you know, you don't even have to hint to him. Bring it up in any way, shape, or form. He'll just be driving along. Oh, oh yeah. It'll eventually it. happen accidentally. But <laughs> what is that noise? Every time I get in this one field, like, is a plane going overhead or something? It's like I can hear another vehicle running back there. Field five, the big field. It's like Don't 25. Know. When I get about halfway through 25, it's like something's making a noise. Like there's. All right. a, Don't know. I haven't there. been out of this little area yet. <laughs> Draves is Draves is over there, still cultivating away. It looks like. Mm. Getter's been over here just harvesting away all night. The rest of us have just been driving around doing whatever the hell we want. I don't know. Great. Well, he's been cultivating like a son of a gun. Yeah, he's, he's been at it since he came in. It's like nonstop. I wonder if this thing will pull a cultivator. Hmm. Is that one of the ones that's got like a three-point thing on the back of it? No, it, a cultivator doesn't need three-point. Oh, okay, yeah. I was thinking of the one point where you just drag it behind. Like some of the plows. Oh, well. No, you're right. It needs a three-point. I think unloads quick, I can tell you that. 
Yes, it does. All right, I'm going to look at mods. And so and do the other they... ones, uh, the ones from Pleasant Valley. You want a farm all? I could buy a farm all. I was just looking. They've got a pretty good amount of power. I mean, it surprised me how much oh, yeah. power they had listed well, on them. They're pretty good. I'm just looking to see what he's got in since it's been so long since I played with you guys. I don't know what all he's. I don't know what all he's even got on here. Does that? Is that Ford 6x6 truck any good? Uh, that's one that we haven't played with. Uh, but actually, the best one so far that came from uh, Rambo is the AR. Kind of worth AR. The one that is the one that the AR is made out of, which is right next to it. For some reason, when I was driving that on Baxley, uh, it couldn't turn very well. You know, like you're driving, you just got to make a slight turn. You got to yank the wheels so that it tips and catches the ground. Like the front wheels are just floating off the ground, but the other one, the air one, works perfect. Is this the trailer we've got, the Kilobert? 1800 Pro? Yes. I know eventually we're going to have to have one of these um, Flygo under trailer things or something because we'll have to have that to deal True. with fuel when we start making fuel because we've got the fuel tanker but we've don't we didn't start with one of these so we'll have to buy one of those eventually and also we could we could probably get that how much are the slurry tanks for the ar frames um well you could just get one of those um the ones that came with PV, you know? Right. But aren't those, those might not be, I don't know. Yeah. The flag will, the, the lizard multi tank things. Something. You could get one of those that, um, you know, the silver ones. Cause it all. Oh, water tank. It? And that, for, so that doesn't work with slurry. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't, does it? Oh. No, that's why it has to be only that one slurry transport. The other one's a spreader. But I think the universal trailers might work, but I'm not positive in this map. I have to try it single player tomorrow morning. So the tanker is 55,000 for 30,000 liters. Yeah, I think you got to get the tanker because the other one I think is a spreader, but I could, I thought the other one was silver. I don't know. I'll do some research when I wake up after I go to bed. Yeah, the silver bed. one, the silver one's a spreader. Because I made that mistake when we started PV the, the last time when I was playing. I bought one of those and it wouldn't, it wouldn't dump. It would just spread. Okay. So I had to buy the 55,000 ones to be able to uh, dump it and everything. And I mean, we're going to need a fertilizer eventually, but... 
Yeah, but not until we get to then make fertilizer out of. Yeah, that's a that's a little later down the line, I would say. Yeah, we gotta plant wheat, or we gotta wait for your slurry to ferment, us silage to ferment. These universal tanks say they hold slurry, but like you said, I don't know yeah, if they'll the work with the triggers or not. And I think the slurry triggers were really more less unchanged compared to the milk triggers. So I have a feeling they will work. Um, might have an issue with gas. Might be another one that they did different. Yeah. But I could be wrong with the gas, but I think I'm pretty sure with the milk because he had the milk that could be used uh, for selling regular milk or the milk that would be turned into cheese. So I think he put in a separate, a different trigger for that reason. Oh God, I do not even want to look at a baler. We don't need bales. Yeah, I, I don't even want to talk about bales. I hate bales. That uh, the rake, the loading wagon with the rake will resolve all the problems. Same with grass. All you do is have to cut the grass and that thing will pick it up so easily. Yeah, that, uh, that modded one, the chrome one or whatever. Yes. And that's another one I think done, fixed. He converted from uh, 2013. God, those loaders. $550,000 for that thing. Yeah, but he did it with the telehandler, so he might be happy with something like the New Holland. And then I don't know if we're going to put the JCB. you have JCB? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Because I think Trout wants to put that one in if everybody has it. Yeah, that's the one um, I won from. What's that guy? I can't remember the guy's name now. He's a he's an American Sorry. guy that streams from Japan. No, okay. He's an old older no, no. guy. I is it? It's not. No, I was trying to think. Somebody said he had a girl with him, but maybe that was reversed. Where's a Japanese girl and an American guy? I don't know. Which would be uh, motorsports. No, that wasn't his name. Oh, God, I can't remember his name now. I was like his thousandth follower or something, and that's how I got the uh, JCB. Cool. I can't remember his name. He used to do, um, he used to do farm sim and he used to do a uh, Euro truck simulator. That'll drive me nuts for the rest of the night now. <laughs> Would he be in any of your, uh, Messages from uh, Twitch, or would it be on Steam? I don't know if you have on Steam or not. I think he added me long enough to. He's one of those he doesn't like adding people on Steam. He added me long enough to give me the pack, and then basically that was it. Right, but I was wondering if messages are kept. Like if uh, somebody, if I sent you a, a PM. You know, it, you, it end up in your inbox until you delete it. Yeah, I don't know. I have to try to remember his name. 
That is so weird. I'm trying to remember the other guy's name that I used to watch all the time too. He used to do Euro Truck and Farm Sim. He was a uh, he was from Norway or something. Snus Snus something was that guy's name. But he always hung out in Snus's stream. Let me look real quick. I think he's another one of the ones I lost when I lost my follower stuff. SGO Sync. That was the guy's name. That's one I've never really heard of, I don't think. I don't know if I've ever seen him. He streamed kind of weird hours. I don't know if you would have been around much for him. Because he streamed, you know, Japanese time. Yeah, basically my time that I'm usually not that much awake is between uh, 5 a.m. and 11 a.m. That's a lot of the times when he was streaming. Because a lot of the times, like, when I would end my stream, he would be getting ready to start his. And I would end mine at, like, 3 or 4 a.m. And he would start his at, like, 4 or 5 a.m. and go to noon or something hello Orentis how are you sir poor Orentis he's got like he's got the rudest welcome message that I have And yes, yes, I'm streaming. I, I know I haven't streamed a lot in recent times, but I felt like streaming tonight, so I streamed. Although I am about to end, since it's like an hour after I said I was going to end earlier. <laughs> Yeah, Dustin was actually in here earlier, uh, Orentis. He was, he actually stopped in before, um, before he, uh, went to go cook. I think he said he was going to bake some bread. He's been on a cooking thing and he just hasn't streamed much lately, he said. Yeah, Grillmaster, I don't leave money on my account. Um, it's, it's in the bank. I got 11000 in the bank now. But we're not really selling anything. We're uh, just kind of storing it up. For on this map, you have to make your own fuel. You have to make your own seed and your own fertilizer and everything. So we're storing most of the stuff that we're, we're doing. It's going into storage for fuel making, seed making, and fertilizer making and stuff although we don't have anything right now to really make fertilizer with but that's where where all the stuff is going so we're not really making any money right now um we're setting up to make a lot of money with the silage i i put in about i think it was about four hundred thirty thousand silage into the uh into the bga so that's setting up to make a lot of money but we're not really making it yet. All right, I got almost 45k. Where is the gas place? It's down to the bottom left. Here. I'm going to take this down and dump it in the yeah, fuel place. Yeah, I was going to suggest that we were talking. So, yeah, go please.
But yeah, we spent a little more than we had anticipated. Um, Getter had a uh, a little moment where the yes. game told him, where the game told him he was selling the header that he was trying to sell, but the game decided that it wanted to sell the harvester that went with the header. So we uh, we ended up spending a lot of what I made, and a lot of what he made, and a lot of what uh, Draves made. Uh, basically, you, know. you were the one making the money. We're busy at harvesting. You're the one selling the trees. Well, yeah, I guess. But we, we spent a lot of that to get an upgraded harvester, which I think is a great investment, so I, I don't see any oh, problem yeah. with it whatsoever. This one's good for a wild, a long time. She was cute. You want this game, if only, to be able to bug me or Entus. <laughs> I've got, uh, let's, let's take a look here. Steam says I have 742 hours on this game. So I've well gotten my money out of it. Even though I bought the game and the next day it went on sale for half off. I was so pissed off that day. If they had had the refund policy then that they have now, I hadn't really played it. I would have sold the game and then bought it for half off. But they didn't have that then, so. Oh yeah, John Trout will probably end up selling the Harvester. He'll come in and, you know, somebody will do some stuff, make some money. You know, me and Coop will be in tomorrow night probably with him while he's streaming. And we'll, we'll start tree cutting and, and wood chipping and stuff. Make a bunch of money and try to be like, okay guys, I just sold the harvester and bought a uh, Alexion. And be like, oh, here we go again. I don't think so. He, he's worked with this. It's been on uh, most of the maps. It's been on Pleasant Valley. We just put in the newer harvesters a couple days ago. Yeah, he, he probably won't jump right to selling it. But eventually, there will be a moment where Trout has one of his I am Trout and I must sell stuff moments. And it will well, eventually he, get sold. He'll buy the beet harvester. We don't have any beets planted, but he'll buy us a beet harvester. <laughs> because he, it looks pretty. He is so bad for that shit. Well, it'll depend on how many people end up playing on a regular basis, but that's a good possibility, Draves, that that we'll be better off with uh, with you know a couple of smaller, medium ones than one big one if we have people playing. But if we if it ends up with just two or three people playing, like you know, it has been up to this point, like Draves or like. Getter was saying it's been just him and Coop pretty much other than when Trout can you know so depends on how many people we have did my stream go down no you're still up here huh the bot said it went down for a minute and came right back up I don't know probably just twitch being twitch Yeah, I doubt I've got source. I don't think I've got but about... Well, right now it says I have three people on the bot. I can't see on Twitch, so... Oh, mine shows six. So I probably got, yeah, six or seven. That's what I had But before it's you, me, freaked and, out. and Dre's. Yeah, and it's like Dre's, Orentis, John, you... Eight people with the map. I mean, I'm I'm sure Coop will probably play, and you know if we get LJ in here, but LJ's gonna be like in that one corner and never leaving probably. <laughs> oh yeah, well Coop wants to play. Wasn't was it him or uh, LJ that couldn't get in? 
LJ LJ couldn't get in. Coop said he had issues at first, and then he he just re-downloaded everything he said and got in. Right, and one of them had the issue with the giant editor. It had to be uninstalled. Yeah, that was LJ. In order. Okay. Yeah, I think they're ready to come in. It's just we're gonna wait until tomorrow or later on tonight when uh, Trout gets settled down and puts the proper mods in here and gets one good set of mods. Because right now we just got yeah. a jumbo folder full of different mods from Baxley and some from Pleasant Valley. And I mean, there's no guarantee how much I'll play. I'm I'm enjoying it right now. I gotta say, I have missed playing with you guys, and it is a lot of fun. So. Yeah, well, all that's is like I said, it's up to Trout whoever he wants to let in here. I just preferred that one because he didn't seem like he wanted to do listen or work with us. So. It reminds me of someone. Oh, who was that little smart-ass kid that had, like, millions of dollars worth of equipment while the rest of us were still stuck on starter shit? Oh, started with the B? I, I'm really, like, I can't remember his name. I remember the whole issue with me cussing him out and everything and him running to Dave's server, but I cannot remember his name. <laughs> I'm trying to remember his name. I know it started with the B. Yeah, that sounds right. B Tech. No, B Tech's in ESP stream all the time. Um, what was his name? God, I'm getting old. I'm having uh, brain parts. Opposite of a maid. The male maid. I'm a redneck. What the hell's a male maid? <laughs> Who always done it? Who killed the, the owner? Or the owner's girlfriend? Oh, Butler. There yeah, that was go. his name. I really could not remember his freaking name to save my life. I have those moments where I, I don't do well with names to begin with. And I have those moments where I just can't remember things like that. I do terrible with names, but I, yet I was still a mailman for thirty some odd years. Oh Retired God! Retired now. Let's let's not start on mail people because like the ones that deliver out here drive me insane. Now there's one woman that delivers out here that's exceptional. Like always, like if she's working that day, she's always just about the same time. Everything's delivered right. She makes sure that anything that doesn't fit in the mailbox isn't tried to force in there, and, and she brings it up to the door and makes sure you get it and everything. But there's, like, a Mexican guy and a meth head-looking guy that deliver on the day she doesn't. And, dude, they... I, I've gotten to correct mail that's supposed to be delivered to our house twice in the last year when they deliver. I've complained, I've called and cussed people out so many times over those two idiots. I, I do not know how they still have their jobs. Yeah, it's good. Things that mail service has gone through a lot of changes. Basically, what the woman told me was that there's just nobody, like, nobody wants to do it around here. And nobody's applied, and they're just desperate for people, and that's the reason they won't fire them. Yeah, yeah. Because you know these are, are rural route people. You know they uh, they don't make very much, basically. Well, they used to make a fair amount, I thought, because uh, they get paid per miles. Uh, per delivery they get paid for everything you know like how many letters they have how many magazines how many parcels they take out they get paid differently than a regular carrier but the uh, post know. office has been trying to get them to merge in as carriers so they could uh, 
rip them off and more mo with less money because then they don't have to pay for mileage. They don't have to pay for keeping track of the volumes of mail and packages that they have. But yeah, Rentis, the game. This is definitely one of those games that it's more fun to to play with other people and everything. I still had fun on it solo when I played a lot, but uh, it's definitely more fun, especially if you got a good group like you know Don't Getter. Yeah, I was gonna say I was waiting for you to swing out and grab that. <laughs> I was trying to give you enough room to get it without me being in the way. Look at that perfect circle, dude. But the recovery was a little off. Yeah, it kind of slides. <laughs> the back end slides on this one very easily. Yeah, I noticed that. It just kept going. It was like he tried to stop, and it just kept sliding. No, when I started with the post office back in the 70s, it was, you know, more of a family-oriented type setting. If somebody was sick in the post office or if they had, you know, if they weren't feeling well, you could sneak off your route, go to their route, and help them out, like with this, a relay, which would be like doing a street for them or something. But uh, by the time I left, you weren't allowed to look at your, your fellow workers. You weren't allowed to talk to anybody. One girl got written up because a little boy put in the paper I like the mailman who comes to our apartment, or male woman. She talks to me all the time. She's a very nice person. She got written up for not doing her job and talking with the public instead of uh, doing her job. So it cost time. So she got written up for that. Oh, yeah. It's... One guy got written up for looking at the squirrels up in the tree. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, see, that's the reason I don't, I don't have a job in something like that. Like, I couldn't do it. I couldn't put up with people. Yeah, well, it's just the changes they went through to make it. The computer sorts your mail, which is very helpful. My knees are so messed up from sorting mail for three hours every morning. Now all they do is go in. They might sort for maybe a half hour at the most, but everything is already pre-sorted with the computers. So all that they do is basically, you know, load up their truck and leave. But my knees are so messed up because I, you know, lock your legs to keep you standing upright for several hours. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So some of it, the computer part with them sorting the mail. It's very helpful now that they, they sort of worked out the bugs. But we have some real dippy guys in, in, in the interim from this point to back when I started. In fact, one guy got big awards because he figured out a new way to make a label for the CODs. And that is the reverse where you put the address to where your return address is. You swap those out. The guy got an award and some money for it. Too bad the computers couldn't figure that out because they had to, to cancel all the new labels that they made because the computers are set up to read the address label, you know, the way it is now, the way it's always been. But the guy was, you know, trying something new. Oh, well, no big deal. Yeah, it's always something like that. It's, well, it's like when I work for the power company, you know, um... I I had it made in a lot of ways. The job that I had was underground repair. And, you know, I'd get my orders and I'd go out and I could do whatever I wanted for the day because I stayed three or four weeks ahead. But nowadays, like, they've got, uh, they've got GPS on all their trucks now and everything. They know where you are, whether you're on the job that you say you're on or not. And, you know, you can't do anything now. But I'd go out and, like, according to my computer and according to the system in the office, you know, I'd be in Statesville 
doing doing a, a street light repair but I would really probably be in like Winston doing uh, a house repair or uh, hooking up a new service in one of the developments that they were working on or whatever but to when that uh, when that transformer exploded on me I just I couldn't do it anymore never wanted to be around one of them when they let go. Uh, oh, I, I was hear them so pissed. Away if they ever go. Well, the underground ones, they didn't have many problems with them, but the problem was the one that they sent me, the, uh, the factory, the regulators in them, uh, they got a, a faulty batch of regulators. Well, they sent out a thing telling all the the areas not to use those transformers well the lot manager at the the lot that I worked at was a drunk and he put the tag on the wrong damn transformer sent me the faulty one and sent the good one back and uh, it about got me killed basically okay yeah I understand that it, the, the, are your supervisors or were they failed employees like many of the post office management oh yeah the guys the guys that supervised us didn't know how to do our jobs like the guy yeah. that we did underground repair and overhead repair uh, the crew set that I was on it was six crews and the guy that was what they called the five star uh, the supervisor for our six crews he had always done what they call infrastructure which is when you build a, a new development or whatever the crews that go out before there's any power hooked up in that development, they go out and just lay the lines in. And then one of our crews comes along later and hooks it up. They never touch anything hot. They don't have a clue how to repair anything or how to work on anything that's actually connected. And that guy didn't have a clue how to do the job that we did. The funny thing is, the damn engineers for the company, like the company that I worked for subcontracted for another company. Uh, we subcontracted for Duke Power, which is one of the biggest energy purveyors in the in the country, basically. And uh, the Duke Power engineers, they would send a guy out and, you know, if they were adding on to a service or whatever, they would ask me. I've been there like three weeks. They would ask me what I thought we should do. I'm like, are you out of your fucking mind? I'm like, I've been here three weeks. I'm like, I know how to fix stuff. I don't know what the capacity for the different gauge wires are, you know. Like, why the hell are you asking me this shit? But they would ask me and then do whatever I told them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, like with the post offices, most of the time when a carrier couldn't do their route and was getting in trouble because they just didn't know how to do something. They became managers. Yeah, they, they all of a sudden got supervisors. Oh, yeah, I, I did a great job. But there are just a couple good supervisors that we had, fortunately, throughout the years, you know, one after another, where we'd have two real bad supervisors and one halfway decent supervisor. So it worked out for me. But things have changed a lot. Well, that's the way it was when I worked as a power company. Like, the uh, the supervisor I had was named Walter, and he was a jackass idiot that didn't know how to scratch his ass with, you know, a flashlight in the dark, two people to help him. And then there was another guy uh, named Junior, and that guy could do anything. It didn't make a damn what I it was. I think I've seen that guy on E-Haw. The three-phase, he could do three-phase, he could do home... Uh, home electrics he could do anything everything about that job he knew how to do it he could tell you what size wire you needed to go to a house based on how far away it was and how many bedrooms it was and whether they had central heating and all this other shit and like he could just figure it in his head and he could tell you exactly what you needed but the guy that supervised us was a jackass idiot that didn't know anything so the only time I would call him is if, like, if I needed wire or something. I'd be like, I need some wire. I need an extra, 
you know, 100 foot of 2 aught, go to the office and get it. I wouldn't even ask him. I'd just call him and be like, Walter, wake your stupid ass up. I need, you know, 100 foot of 2 aught, go to the office, get it. This is where I'm at. Bring it out here. And then I'd hang up the phone. And Before he didn't care he because with electric. we made him look good because we stayed ahead. You know, like when, when I took over the crew that I took over, I had been there uh, a month and a half. I wasn't even technically supposed to be eligible to run a crew, but I was the only one who knew how to do underground repair. And the guy that uh, had run that crew before me quit. And when I took over the crew... We were 97 days behind. In three weeks, we were a week and a half ahead of, of all of our projects. But that guy would go out, man. I swear, they would send him on something simple, like a street light out. And he would go out there and dig nine or ten holes, trying to find a bad spot in the wire. And then he'd turn it back in and tell them that they needed to replace the whole line. And they'd send the job to me. I'd go out there. 20 minutes I'd have it found, dug up, cut, fixed, repaired, bulb replaced, working. I know if you like that. Now, if you're searching in the ground, do you use a meter to show some kind of whatever electric charge or magnetic charge or something like that or hello brandon by the way sorry i just saw your message um yeah basically the way the thing that we used was a little box um about the size of a car battery and that's basically what it was was a, a powerful battery setup and you'd hook it up to the wire unhook the wire from from the transformer and from the house hook it up to the wire and it sends a pulse signal out and wherever it leaks out into the ground there's like a a wand looking thing that you run along the edge of the ground and it'll find where it's leaking out and that tells you where the bad spot is okay if you can't get to me just take it to the yard and I should be I'm, I'm not sure I think I can get to it just on this side of the fence that's what I thought if I get close <laughs> enough to the fence yep you got it because I don't think I can get far enough over for you to get in between the fence and me no but probably not we're gonna have fine uh Brandon this isn't my server so I wouldn't be able to let you play anyway and this is kind of a uh a private map that hasn't been released to the public so I, I wouldn't be able to let you play even if you had it on PC man But, yeah, I, I do not miss working electrics. I, I don't miss it at all. It was good money. Um, that was the only reason I took the the crew position was basically, like, I started out, and this was, like, 03-ish. I started out $11 an hour, um, which around here is really good for the area I live in. And I went from... Uh, a month and a half later, when they offered me the crew leader position, I went from $11 an hour to, um, I went from a groundman to a B-class lineman pay, which took me from $11 to $19 um, minimum pay, so... Because I told them, they wanted me to keep doing it. They wanted me to do it at, like, groundman pay. And I was like, I'm not doing it. I was like, good luck, find somebody else. Well, they didn't want to, like, elevate my pay that much that quickly. So they tried, like, two or other guys. It didn't work. And Duke Power was actually going to cancel their underground repair contract because they were so far behind. And uh, one of the Duke Power guys, like the 
vice president of that region came down there and he asked me if I could do the job and I was like yeah and he was like either y'all are going to lose the contract or y'all are going to give him the job and whatever pay he wants and I was like I want B class lineman pay to do that I was like I'm not doing that for groundman pay or even C class lineman pay I was like you start me at minimum uh, B lineman pay and I'll go to work tomorrow I was like in I told him, I was like, in three months, I will have this caught up. It took me three weeks. All right. Hey, when you were over by the shell, was there a sugarcane over there? Or, or was there something in all the, each separate silo? I saw something in one of them. I don't know which one it was. I didn't really pay too much attention. I don't think we took any sugarcane over. Let me see how much is in storage. So, That'll tell us. If you want, just well, if you feel like going over there with that tractor, or I don't know if you're going to leave, but if you feel like staying, if you want to go take a load of sugarcane there, because I'm pretty sure all we did is dump it from the field because you're busy with the silage and uh, Dre's was busy. There's probably not much down there. If there's any, I, d I doubt there is, because there's 105,000 yeah, liters in storage. I don't think storage. there is either, so it won't do us any good overnight or throughout the morning. Yeah, that's whatever. not going to make any unless we get some in there. I'll take a load down there. Thank you. Not a problem. I'm going to try and sell this r little round header. But maybe I'll park over by the quarry when I go to sell it. So I'm not in the box or near the box. That would be good. <laughs> yeah, we, we're definitely going to need an AR trailer pretty quickly because... Oh yeah, no, no doubt about it. Because as soon as that fuel is made, we're going to have to have it to be able to take some fuel somewhere so that we can start refueling everything. Well, even if not, I could, won't I, let me see how much is that trailer, I think it's 18 or something. It's like, I think that the trailer, the AR one that I usually buy is the 16,000 one. I usually buy the, the 16,000 AR Fargo, Lugo, Flygo. Yeah, I gotta find it first. Under what category? It's uh, uh under tipper. tippers. Yeah, you're right. That's is that the one we usually get. They are frogless still. Yeah, that's that's the one I always bought. I don't know if it's the one you guys use, but when we played PVU before, that's the one I always bought because it worked better than the other one. Yeah, I know there's one of them, and actually, I think it's that one, but I'm not positive that actually doesn't load properly some of them are too high or too low or that hitch thing but anyways it's over on uh, it's over on, in the yard alright cool thank you sir I said I was going to quit streaming like an hour and a half ago. <laughs> this is the problem is like I get so into this, especially when we're first starting like this. This is what I really enjoy is getting this thing started, figuring out what we need to buy and what, you know, we need and everything. I really enjoy this part of starting a map. And I get so into it. The next thing I know, it's like I've been streaming a lot longer than I thought I was going to. I was going to stream like two hours, and I've been streaming for four hours and like 13 minutes now. 
Yeah, you keep it up, we might be streaming until Charles decides to jump in his server. Oh no, you you will not get me to stream. <laughs> I am too fat, and my blood sugar goes down too fast. As it is right now, my my hands are starting to get a little like you. I don't know. You probably know what what I'm talking about. My grandma used to call it the weak trembles when you needed to eat something. No, actually, I don't remember anybody using that phrase before, and I'm not sure. I don't know. That's what my grandma that always is. called it. But it's like you know how you get hungry. And you get to just feeling like you got no energy. And like, for me, my hands will start shaking. And that's when I know I need to eat soon. And my hands are starting to kind of... Okay. Just no, shake a little I bit. I usually don't let myself get that. When I get hungry, I decide to eat. Well, mine... The problem with me is usually it comes on, like, all of a sudden. Like, I'll go from being fine, feeling like I've got all the energy in the world. Like, I don't need to eat to just all of a sudden I'm like starving and I'm weak feeling okay I probably got diabetes or something you know I don't know I haven't been to a doctor in like <clears throat> I've been to a doctor three times in the last 15-ish years um, other than the day that that transformer blew up. When that transformer blew up, they made me go to the doctor. But other than that, I've been to the doctor like three times in the last 15 years. And all three times were for a bronchial infection, which I knew was what I had. I'd go in and tell the doctor, be like, I've got a bronchial infection. Show him my throat and be like, give me some antibiotics and leave. Okay. Yeah, I go to the doctor twice a year. I am not a doctor person. I do not like them. Don't want to deal with them. Neither am I, but because I'm a heart patient, that's the only way I can get my meds. Yeah, I, I, I can understand that. Four times a year, because I have an ICD, which is a uh, implanted cardiac defibrillator. Yeah, that's so what my mom's I, got. I told them it, yeah, I had him turn it off a couple of years ago. So I don't like it. And plus, it kept on zapping me for no reason so I said turn it off so now I don't have to go in four times a year for that yeah they wanted her to go in she won't go in she goes in like three or four times a year just to get her um, meds or need her doctor and use her meds for three months at a time so she goes like four times a year but they want her to go get like the uh, the monitor thing like checked every so often. She hasn't went a yeah. single time for that since she's come home. That's kind of how my whole family is. Like, I don't like doctors. Like, the few times I've needed stitches, done it myself. Okay. Well, I've never done that. Well, one time, I didn't have a whole lot of choice. I was in West Virginia in the middle of the freaking uh, mines and mountains up there, riding four-wheelers. Guy's A-arm cover broke off in front of me and sliced my left, uh, my left forearm open about seven inches long and almost down to the bone. And it was a five hour ride out of there to get to the nearest town so we had uh we had fishing hooks we had fishing line uh one of the guys had some um i think it was jack daniels or something some 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 kind of high proof whiskey and uh we had fire so i sterilized the needles and uh, the line and boiling water over a campfire and poured some whiskey on it to clean anything out of it. Put some uh, super glue along the edge of it to hold it together a little bit and then stitched it up with the fishing line. 
hurt like hell. It sounded like a fun time. Oh, it hurt like hell. I was cussing the whole time. And one of the, one of the guys that was with us was like, he was puking just like the whole time. He was like, I can't, oh my God, I can't, oh, bleh, I can't believe you're doing that, man. He's like, what the hell's wrong with you? You're insane. And I'm like, I've got two more days of four wheeler riding. I'm like, I am not wasting them going to some damn doctor. So I stitched it all up and wrapped it in uh, clean bandage gauze and uh, duct taped it on each end so that I could uh, keep it from getting any dirt and everything in it. And then covered it up and I rode four wheelers for, for those two days. When we came out, went to the hospital, they cut stuff off and the doctor checked it and he was like, he said, I could replace them if you want. He said, but they're absolutely fine. There's no, they're clean, well done stitches. There's no infection. He's like, I don't see any reason to replace them so much. He's like, but if you want, I can. I was like, no, I just want you to check and see if there's any infection. And he was like, no. He's like, who did these? He was like, did you have like a, a paramedic up there with you guys or something? I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, I did them. He was like, wait, you stitched your own arm? And I was like, yeah. It's like, I had somebody hold the, hold the skin together for me. I was like, I did the actual stitch in myself. He asked me how drunk I had been and I was like, I don't I don't drink alcohol, so I wasn't drunk at all. He was like, How did you stand the pain? And I was like I've set my own broken bones. Like I've drove myself to the hospital after getting attacked by three guys with baseball bats with a broke leg, six broke ribs and a broke arm. It's like, I've just got a high pain tolerance. All right. Where's y'all at on this map? Uh, kind of lower left, down near the uh, the bottom there. C is uh, C. the shell. Yeah. Thank you. You might want to skirt a little to the like left north of that, because there's a line of trees you can't really drive through. So if you go all the way over to the left road and then go down, you'll be fine. But yeah, I'm I'm one of those people that's a little weird. Like I, I hate doctors enough that I will I will stitch my own wounds. I will set my own broken bones and, and everything. Like a lot of times I'll go to the doctor afterwards. To, you know, with the, with the broken bones, especially if you don't set them right and they heal crooked, then they can gotta be, re-break them. Yeah, they can. They basically have to re-break them to set them right. So I learned that lesson the hard way with uh, two of my fingers. Um, I set them wrong and let them heal, and now they're they're pretty screwed. And uh, I I didn't go to have them checked. And now they're pretty much grown that way. And, uh, yeah, they're pretty food barred now. Okay. That was the only thing I ever broke is kneecap and my leg down by my ankle. Kneecap I didn't know I broke till the next day when I started going down the steps because I li- lived in a house with the, where us boys would sleep upstairs. And I go to take my first step down the, you know, the steps and just about go head over heels because my leg didn't bend. So I call out, and this is seventh grade. And so I had to call out to my mom. I go, Ma, my leg won't bend. So she yep. looks at it. It's all swollen up. I've been there and done that. I broke... Um... 47 bones. That's that's not counting re-breaks. That's not counting like multiple breaks on one bone. That's 47 individual bones. You know you can evil? Were you in competition with them? Uh, no, I probably could have been though. I was, I was one of those stupid guys like 
I rode motorcycles, I rode four-wheelers, and if you'd tell me something couldn't be done, I was generally stupid enough to try it. It took uh, six broken bones and three attempts before I ever managed to land a backflip on a, uh, a four-wheeler. But I did. I managed it. What's the big rock by shell? Does it mean we can't get fuel? Is, that's not where the pipe is, is it? No, I, I don't or think is that so. Just decoration? I think it's just decoration by the by the back side of it there. Because I'm pretty sure the where you get the fuel is on the other side of where you dump yeah, the I stuff. Found it. Yeah, the rock he's talking about, though, it's like on the end of the building. There's there's like a, a big boulder there for some reason. I don't know if it was there on the other map or not. I can't remember. Wasn't on uh, Dave's map, that's for sure, but not a problem. We already have 214 liters of gas. Nice. That'll be handy because I know that uh, that little mower was about half full and that thing that you're driving was about half full. Well, I'm going to leave the container here, but I'm bringing the, tra uh, the tractor and the trailer back until we need to transport this back up there. Although I, I know we don't need it for the box, but we might get a fertilizer spreader we could put on here or something. Yeah, you never know what trout's going to buy tomorrow when he goes in. <laughs> oh, is that... Is that one of the points? Is like right on the end of the shell station. There's a water tower. Okay. I see one of the. All right. Well, I see a big boulder here inside the farm. That's oh, yeah, probably one of the water towers. I forgot all about the water towers. All right. Cool deal. Well, gentlemen, it has been wonderful fun. I am going to uh, end my stream and find me something to eat. And I will catch you guys probably tomorrow night. All right. I know you actually mean probably tonight, but well, tomorrow yeah. night will work. <laughs> I, keep, I always forget because to me, this is very early morning, so... You know. Yeah, no, I do the same with Drove. <laughs> bye bye, asshole. <laughs> Good night. Take care, Rentus. I'll see you later, man. Take care, uh, get her, Draves.